kuanse rasmi mkutano huu kwa maombi ili Mungu atuongoze kutoka mwanzo hadi mwisho na hebu na tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo na kuja mbele yako asubuhi yetu ya leo tukisema asante maana wewe ni Mungu ambao anaaminiwa wewe ni Mungu ambao unasimama na watu wako tumekuja katika hii familia kwa ajili ya mambo ambayo ilifanyika ndio tukuweza hata kukinga sababu hatuna uwezo lakini siku ya leo tumekuja mbele yako kutoa shukurani maana ulisimama na familia Said ni mama Cecilia tunaona siku ya leo hapo na nguvu tukilinganisha na siku ile ambayo kulikuwa na majaribio makubwa we ni Mungu ambao umasimama na watu wako sande kwa kusimama na familia ya Cecilia pamoja na watoto wake tunakushukuru asande kwa wageni walikwa ya siku ya leo ikiwa ni familia ya Cecilia na familia ya Robert na marafiki na hata na ndugu baba tunapoanza hii sherehe tunachiweka mkono ni mwako wale wageni wamefika tunasema asante ikiwa kuna wengine ambao wako njiani tunawaombea hata wa wafike salama salamini tunapoanza hii mkutano tunakutumaini katika kila jambo tuongoze tuelekeze katika kila jambo na hata tutakavyo fika tamati atuza sawa hata kusema ni asante maana wewe ni Mungu naomba haya yote nikimwamini na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mwokozi wetu amen asante tumefungua kwa maombi uh, na tunashukuru wacha nikaribishe uh, Cecilia Chirchir tuanze ku sign kitabu alafu tunapoelekea ama kuanza urathi rasmi tuwe tumeandika kitabu so Mrs Chirchir alafu wachungaji tutafuata baada ya yeye kuandika Uh, DJ weka wimbo Wachungaji tutafuata If you give a little more And if you try It's more than you bring If you're the kind Who takes the time To help a stranger in the rain There's a place For people like you If you stand up For those down on the knees And lend a voice To those who cannot speak Shine a little light Give sight to the ones Who lost the way There's a place For people like you I've heard of the streets Were made of gold And when you get there There's a hand to hold
alafu wafuate na familia ya chirchir familia ya karabti ya kulul kwa jumla mufuate baada ya wachungaji
maisha yako Wana nakusa nyumba yako Anakusa familia yako Fungua tu moyo wako Wanderea baraka za maisha yako Tuko tayari kukaa na wewe Jebon family wawe tayari Nimeona Jebkulul family wamemaliza So Jebon family wafuate Wawe tayari ndiyo waingie
in a way to pain. You made me just like you. My beautiful, you're taking away the shame. You're taking away the pain. You made my life so beautiful. My beautiful, you're taking away the shame. You're taking away the pain. You made me just like you.
haya marafiki wawe tayari tumemaliza chirichir family chebon family alafu marafiki so marafiki waingie tusaini haraka haraka we are totally behind the schedule kabisa tumechelewa so tafadhali tuharakishe friends
Bas, bas, tunaendelea vizuri. Waja ni karibishe Mr. Willy Chirchir for a word of welcome. Alafu tuendele hivyo. Wageni ambao muna ingia, karibu ni sana. So baada ya hawa kuandika kitabu. Kama uchaandika, awalalau yu ukuje one by one. Sio kupanga sasa laini. Unakuja tu peke yako. Unaarakisha unaandika hapo ukiona mwenzako ametoka hata wewe unaingia hivyo so sita ruhusu laini sasa hapa kwa sababu tumeanza program yetu karibu Mr. Chirchiri Nataka kuchukua nafasi hii Kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutuwezesha kukutana celebrate the life and times of our late brother Robert Chirchir. My name is Willie Chirchir and I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all for this function on behalf of the Chirchir family 
and the large church of Kulul family. You are welcome. Let's interact. Let's share. Let's celebrate uh, the life of Mr. Robert. You are all welcome. All the guests from far, from near, feel at home. What I got in to good. Karibuni. Thank you, Mr. Chirchir, for that word of welcome. Wacha ni waombe tusimame pamoja, tuimbe wimbo, buwana u sehemu yangu, tutaimba tu stanza ya kwanza peke yake kwa sabu ya muda. For the interest of time, we shall sing uh, the first stanza peke yake. Alafu, tunapo imba AIC, kwa ya AIC parotion, mchipangi hapa mbele, mkuje sasa. Tunapo malisa hiyo stanza ya kwanza, muwe Tayari yapa. So straight away, karibuni. Bwana usehemu yangu, urafiki yangu wewe, katika safari yangu tatembe. Ya na wewe, pamoja na wewe, pamoja na wewe, katika safari yangu tatembe. Ya na wewe, niongoze safari ni mbele unichukue. Mlango ni mwambingu ni ningi Ye na wewe pamoja na wewe Pamoja na wewe Mlango ni mwambingu ni ningi Ye na wewe na tukiti AIC uh, Parotion Choir Wimbo Moja Asantini
Asante, asante AIC Parotion Local Church uh, kwa wimbo huo. Tunaenda upande wa introduction. So yule ambaye anachukua nafasi hiyo uh, unakaribishwa. Introduction ya familia nani anachukua upande huo. Karibu sana. Alafu tuendelee. Nimepeana nafasi kama hujaandika kitabu hapa unakuja peke yako kwanza unaandika Ukiona huyo ametoka mwingine anaingia hivyo. Family introduction. Alafu baada ya hiyo tunasomewa eology. Alafu tuendelee hivyo. I want all the family members to stand. Eh? Family members Or you can come forward. We do it very fast. Tataja majina tu Hakuna kuongea Let me start with the immediate family The 
Shemeji, Cecilia, na watoto. Sasha, Dylan, Jeremy. Shemeji, Mrs. Chief. Huyu ni Sandani from Mombasa. Chef, look at me, Chef. Chef, Tenda. No, no, these are family members, just names. Shalisha, Winnie, <laughs> Blair, our uh, firstborn, uh, Winnie, Mrs. Chitir, Jaden, Mrs. Chitir, Naomi, Paul Chitir. Oh, this is Jackson Chirchir. Mina Fata Wee. Ni mkupo wetu, kijana. Wee anani Fata anaitwa Jonah Chirchir. Wee ni bibi yake, Mrs. Chirchir. This is the twin to Jonah, Nathan Chirchir. Bibi yake, Mrs. Chirchir. Frederick Cheruyot from uh, Karapia Tulu. The rare brother, the rare brother, Maritim Abule, Mrs. Terer. We need Mama Wetu, Lois Kamoi. We need Baba Wetu, Thomas Kamoi. Nataka kusimamisha wageni wengine. Abule hiyo. Simama tu. Sante. Nafikiria wengine tutafanya introduction. Nimemaliza ya immediate family. Ya asante. Bas asante. Aya introduction ya Jebon family. Introduction tu peke yake. Kama penye Jebkulul family walifanya. Ah... Uh, we recognize the presence of our area assistant chief, the area Meingia, Karibu Sana. Karibu Sana, area assistant chief, Tunakukaribisha, Katika Sherei Yetu. Okay, Komajina ni Godfrey Semjor, ni Ndugu Mkubwa, wa Mama Sasha. So, Mkuje, tuanzia hapa kutoka wazazi wakubwa baba chema ndio tuweze tumalize kwa haraka so tupangane kwa jinsi ya hivyo ya tupangane tu alafu ya few ya tusongane hivi ya ya so nitaanza kwa kusema tu moja alafu Okay. Huyu ni baba mkubwa, eh, baba Chema, eh, Job, Chebon. So asante. Huyu ni baba mzazi, Gideon, Chebon. Asante. Ya tuneza rudi. Huyu ni mama mzazi, uh, mama Chemjor, ni mimi. <laughs> ya huyu ni Senge, auntie, tunashukuru, eh, eh, Philip, eh, and family. Ya, asante. Huyu ndio Philip mwenyewe. Asante yanko. Ayuni senge wetu Rufena. Asante. Ayuni senge wetu uh, Helen. Nashukuru. Ayuni uh, Mrs. Boywa. Asante. Njongo kunyumbani. Awa ni uh, familia yangu. Uh, Chizlina. And uh, Cherobon and Kandie. Ya. Yeah. Ayuni uh, Boywa unyewe. 
uncle wetu pia ah uh, ni mama chema tia sana sorry chema tia mwenyewe sorry <laughs> chema tia karibu and uh, joy sister you ni cousins these are my cousins dorothy chemuge morin charity ni <laughs> You and your sister, uh, Cherop, and the children, uh, Leah, my cousin, and, and family, Alex, and uh, last and not least, uh, Rono, my cousin. Thank you. Very good. Uh, thank you very much for that introduction. Wanakijiji, musimame pale mulipo, piga up kokwet, piga up kokwet. E onde utpara asante 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 pamoja na kanisa kwa jumla kanisa la AIC Parotion e, karibuni sana hiyo tumemaliza introduction uh, tunaenda kusoma theology ama historia ya maremu Robert Chirchiri baada ya hiyo tutaenda fast scripture reading so tuwe tayari tufuatane in that order Tuarakisha hivyo hivyo, tuende haraka haraka. Habari zenu? Nzuri. Uh, Naitwa Felicia Chepchiri Turcher, firstborn daughter of Mr. Willie Turcher and Eunice Turcher. Karibu ni sana. The late Robert Cheria Turcher was born on the 15th May 1978 to the late Johnston Kiprono Koske and the late Grace Koske of Chesiliot, Sotik Bomet County. He was the ninth born child in the family. He was brother to Lea Kishara, Jane Churcher, the late Elizabeth Chepon, Jackson Churcher, Willie Churcher, Jonah Churcher, Nathan Churcher, Paul Churcher and Edna Tang. The late Robert Churcher married Cecilia Tariki Chabon on the 29th October 2011 and were blessed with three lovely children, namely Sasha Chabneno, Dil Dylan Kiprono, and Jeremy Kibet. He was brother in law to Beatrice, Eunice, Marcy, Judith, and Caroline, Naomi, Godfrey, the late Meshach, Ernest, Bernard, the late Esbon, Christopher, Lona, Marcy, Alex, Japheth, John, and Bernard. He was uncle to many. <coughs> he was born again and a dedicated church member. He loved reading the Bible, our daily bread booklet, and other Christian literature. He generally loved reading books. He was prayerful, very kind, polite, welcoming, ever smiling, and loved listening to gospel music, especially hymns. He was baptized at AIC Chesiliot by the late Reverend Philemon Koske, who also officiated his wedding ceremony in 2011. While in the village here at Barotion Londiani, the late Robert attended church at AIC Barotion together with his family, and while in Nairobi, he attended church at the International Christian Church, Imara Daima. The late Robert, became ill on the 10th November 2020 on a Tuesday while in the course of duty and was treated at Premier Hospital in Mombasa. His condition was reported to have improved on the 14th November 2020. On the said date, he was jovial and was taking dinner at a restaurant in Bamburi area in Mombasa. At around 16th at, at around 6.30 that same day, he had a good night conversation with his wife and children through WhatsApp video and said their goodbyes. Not knowing that would be the last goodbye. It was extremely shocking to learn that he didn't wake up again the morning of Sunday the 15th November 2020. His phone went unanswered the whole of Sunday and it was on the night of the 15th and 16th November 2020 Sunday, Monday, that his house was opened and he was found to have rested. His education and career. 
The late Robert Chiriot Chiriche had an impressive track record in education. He attended Chesiliot Primary School and completed his primary education in 1991. He then proceeded to the prestigious Mangu High School in Thika from the year 1992 to 1995, where he qualified to join the Nairobi University. He received an invitation letter to join the University of Nairobi in 1997 and pursued a degree in Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. In the year 2019, he pursued a Master's in Science in Energy Management, and at the time of his passing, he had submitted his proposal and was waiting approval of the same. The late Robert Chirche worked briefly in Somaliland, Northern Somalia. He later worked at the Kenyatta International Convention Center, KICC. In the year 2014, he began working at the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, where he rose through the ranks to the position of senior engineer at the Mombasa Regional Office. The late Robert Cheruyot was loved by many and had a beautiful, lovely soul. May God grant him eternal peace and rest in heaven. Fare thee well, Robert. We shall meet again on that resurrection day. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Winnie Kishara, uh, last born of Mr. and Mrs. Alex Kishara, mom is here representing. Um, so I'll do the first reading. We are reading from John chapter 14, from verse 1 to 10. And it says, Job, sorry, yes, Job, Job chapter 14, verse 1 to 10. It says, Mortals born of woman are of few days and full of trouble. They spring up like flowers and wither away. Like fleeting shadows, they do not endure. Do you fix your eye on them? Will you bring them before you for judgment? Who can bring what is pure from the impure? No one. A person's days are determined. You have decreed the number of his months and have set the limits he cannot exceed. So look away from him and let him alone till he has put in his time like a hired labor, laborer. At least there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, it will sprout again, and its new shoots will not fail. Its roots may grow old in the ground, and its stump die in the soil. Yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth shoots like a plant. But a man dies and is laid low. He breathes his last and is no more. But... Amen. We thank God because we know that Robert is, is with the Lord. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for scripture reading. Uh, we are going straight to speeches. May I invite Cecily um, Chebon Chirchir. Alafu Anse Kipindi Hicho Cha Maungezi. Karibu, karibu sana Cecilia Chichiri. If you give a little more than you take. And if you try. Karibu sana, ni wewe tu nitakupatia muda. Wengine nitawapa dakika moja moja ama mbili mbili. Who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain? There's a place for people like you. If you stand up for those down on their knees Good afternoon, And lend everyone. a voice to those who cannot speak My name is Cecilia Teriki Chebon uh, Chirchir, um, Robert's wife um, Welcome to our home uh, This is uh, Nukiat Barotion village Kipsiri Chiet sublocation so before I uh, deliver my speech, I'd like Sasha and Dylan to just say something small. Is it okay, Sasha? Or it will start with Dylan. Dylan, yes. we've come to remember Daddy. Yes. What do you remember about Daddy? Huh? What do you remember about Daddy? I remember about... What, what do you remember about Daddy? Uh, 
what was daddy doing for you? Do you remember? Uh, he, he was doing for me good things. He was bringing for you good things. What else was, dad, was daddy doing? You can remember? He was doing for me. He was doing for me. Ali. Alini daddy, which you can remember? Alini Beba. Aliku Beba. All right, thank you. We are done with Dylan. Sasha will uh, deliver some uh, memory verses. Sasha. Okay. My name is Sasha Chepneno Chilchil, and I have some few memory verses. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. And I have another memory verse. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he shall not depart from it. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sasha and Dylan. Karibuni sana once again. Now, uh, Robert's uh, funeral last year was conducted in a rush, as in the government gave out guidelines and protocols because of COVID-19. We really didn't have so much time. It was done like in a rush. Many people didn't have time to attend. And we had many people who wished uh, they had attended. So we thought as a family, uh, if we could have a memory verse, I mean a memory, sorry, a memorial for him, just to remember him and like sort of do like a funeral service because that time it was really so tight. So that's why we called you, uh, family and friends, to come and join us. And we are really grateful that you, you found time to be with us. So Robert's passing was not very, very clear. I'm saying this because, um, as in we don't know the exact time, because he was working in Mombasa, and I was here in Nairobi with the children. So, and he was alone in the house. So it's not very clear whether it was uh, midnight or 14th or 15th. We are not very, very sure. So. Uh, uh, Around the 10th of November last year, Robert was uh, on an assignment, an official assignment, uh, just within Mombasa, but in a different county. So he called me and he told me that Anasia uh, Kamako na homa kidogo na akoso sawa tu. You know how homa is in asema tu niko sawa. So he said akona homa kidogo na atamanage tu. So I think the following day, he just called me and told me I'm canceling the trip. So that really hit me because canceling an official trip means he was not feeling well. So he told me I'm turning back. I'm going back to Mombasa town, back to his house. But before that, he, he told me that he was planning to, to, go, to go see a doctor. Just um, time tu aone kama kosawa, but alikuwa nasema hana appetite ya chakula. Alikuwa nasema he's feeling some feverish. So, so they turned back. Waka, waka rudi na driver. Waka stopisha kila kitu, they came back to Mombasa. So they decided to stop by Premier Hospital in Mombasa. He was taken by the driver at EPTA, he's called Mr. Amenya, and uh, I'm not sure whether there was another person. So, Ali and Auko and Ali Pimwa, so like, I was following up, huh? so he was telling me, I'm a Pimwa kila kitu, I'm a Pewa Dawa, ya appetite, ya kubus appetite, I'm a Pewa, Dawa tu ya homa tu, kama kawaida, fever, to just to put, bring the fever down, so Ali Pewa yo Dawa, but then, I can remember at some point, 
nimeona daktari na daktari amenistua daktari ameniambia hospitali ni kubaya so i asking kubaya what do you mean akasema patients wa covid hakuna mwenye ana survive ni kubaya that's that's i'm using his exact words eh? so nikamwambia but how are you feeling generally because if you're not really well you need to be admitted you know so akasema lakini mimi siwezi niko sawa as in akasema sasa niko sawa ameniona lakini eh hiyo daktari amenistua those that's how he told me so akarudi nyumbani na dawa ambayo alikuwa amepewa and he kept taking the medicine sasa ali cancel kazi sasa he didn't proceed with his work so i kept following up, following up and monitoring him ananiambia tu naendelea tu vizuri in homa homa tu fever tu ndio inanisumbua na appetite that was what he told me fever na appetite so ai nikasema nikamwambia but your sister is there so so uende kwa your sister Edna at least akuchunge kidogo akusikie you know because you don't have the strength do you know what robert told me robert told me i'm not sure if i have covid and what if nikiambukiza my sister that's how much robert loved edna akaniambia so we stopped it at that si kuendelea kumprobe enda kwa sister yako i just stopped it at that na sasa tukaendelea tukumonitor how is he was doing so now now on the 14th this is the date that we are not sure on the 14th that, that was on a sunday sorry it was on a saturday we had a video call with the children around 6:30 ilikuwa tu kama routine we we kept we used to do a lot of video calling a lot of calling a lot of everything i was very very close with robert so hiyo siku 6:30 we had a video call yeye yeah, yeah, na watoto as usual tunaongea tu kama kawaida and he was in a restaurant alikuwa ametoka kwa nyumba sasa he was taking his supper so hata kwa video call i could see tumezungusha simu so i could see ako kwa restaurant kamuliza umekula so it really gave me encouragement ako sawa unajua mtu ametoka kwa nyumba it, yani unapata encouragement ako sawa so akasema naendelea vizuri hata nimekula but when we were ending the video call somehow it paused ili pause na ikapotea tu and i just suspect he got emotional and just akazima because uh, it, it was not normal for the video to just pause na ikaisha hivyo na hakuwa nafanyanga hivyo tulikuwa tunasema bye nini see you you know but that day it just paused na tuko tumemaliza kuongea na ikazimika hivyo but me and him we continued chatting on whatsapp namuuliza vitu here and there there is something in the house that you know some bulb bulb kunilikuwa na shida na some bulb akanipa advice nini 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 and he was responding to my whatsapp chat messages so me i knew i mean he was getting better so now that is the night that i think il invidi because from the 8:30 pm chats that tuliongea na yeye sasa akuongea tena like he didn't read the, my chat messages from 8:30 pm so so we didn't nili assume tu sasa ameenda kupumzika tu kulala we didn't so i didn't really bother calling him so much ni because we, I, i could see he went to a restaurant i could see tuliongea kwa video chat so because he was not responding i didn't really follow up kumpigia nini but the following day that was on a i think it was on a sunday i'm not very sure but now the 15th it was a sunday the 15th around 9 am nimeshamka naangalia chat messages hajasoma and it's unlike of it's unlike him chat messages kama kusoma usiku asubuhi naona zimekuwa blue tick so i know amesoma so nikaona hajasoma nikampea tu time maybe ame oversleep kidogo apumzike so i gave him some time after lunch bado he is not hajasoma that is when i decided to call him so when i called him he was not responding 
simu inalia lakini hachukui simu so so i decided to give it a try like nilijaribu like three times up to around 9 pm that day 9 pm sasa nikaona hapa hapana i just felt something is not right so i called i called his very very close friend who i knew alikuwa anakuja kwetu as in he was very close with him and i knew he works at epra and i knew angenipea contact za mtu wa Mombasa so i called mr b he's called b b kiprotich so b i called him and b had, had also talked with him on that sunday so mimi mimi na b pia tulikuwa in communication with him so i called b b umeongea na robert akaniambia hapana lakini nikamwambia nimemjaribu nimemjaribu simpati akasema wacha nipigie driver wa Mombasa at least a, anaweza saidia kwenda kwa nyumba yake tuone kama yuko kwa nyumba or something so that is where we that's where we called um, we, uh, i mean alipigia simu driver wa Mombasa the driver in Mombasa aka aka coordinate haraka haraka he really helped mr amenya i know that family you remember him amenya and some other guy called chirchir really helped us in Mombasa so amenya and ali was the first person to go to his house amenya went to his house knocked nobody's responding tried knocking tried calling the caretaker tried calling now now wakaita sasa landlord so that uh, process landlord nini let me just shorten it around 2 am is when he they opened the door and found he had rested that um, that night so it was a big shock to all of us and we accepted we accepted because it I mean it's God who has the final say when it comes to death we are all sisi tuko kwa hiyo safari so now it has not been easy of course for us lakini Mungu ametushikilia Mungu amekuwa pamoja nasi What I can only see is I have a very strong feeling that this Jumia hospital acted negligently when handling the late robert they didn't handle him well that is what i feel they didn't handle him well and i would really i think i'll follow up to find out his pressure how it was did they address that and at least the doctor who handled him that day because i think ali mstua robert alikuwa amestuka alisema hospitali mimi siendi so i think the hospital really acted very very negligently when they handled him that is my personal feeling no i'll now i think i'm done with how he passed on i was in nairobi he was there so we are not really very very sure the exact date now i just want to talk briefly about robert robert was a was a great man to say that i lost a great husband I lost a great husband. And if you ask me about marriage, marriage is beautiful. I had nine years of beautiful marriage. And I was asking God, why did you take him? Because we really had a beautiful marriage. But this has challenged me so much. It really hit me that hatujui hatujui ni time gani tunaenda sisi wote hatujui si ni kweli we don't know when our time is god has made it a secret that we do not know when we are going hatujui nani atatangulia this is like a line who yanaenda who you as in we don't know when our time is and it has challenged me i mean we are all challenging each other that we ch- we should always be ready let us always be ready because you don't know when god will say now it's your turn now it's hata watoto wadogo wanaenda so god is the one who plans mungu ndiye anasema time yako imefika just go mwingine next like that next like that and let's all be ready i'm also challenging myself and encouraging myself that we should all be ready kwa sababu hatujui ni time gani mungu anatuchukua hatujui and i've lost very very close uh, family members 
I've lost uh, a brother in 2004. I lost my uh, my follower. He was called Esbon Kikoech Chebon. Esbon was in Nairobi University. And funny enough, walikuwa na Joanna na Robert. So Skumoja Robert, when he told me alikuwa engineering, my, my brother was also doing civil engineering. Nikamulizi walikuwa na Joa Esbon. Wakanibia Esbon. Alikuwa naituwa Kazito. Do you guys remember? Nikamulizi walikuwa na Joa Kazito. He used to have a nickname called Kazito. Haka sema Kazito was your brother. Sasa hapo ndiyo tuka connect. Robert knew my brother, my late brother. And... I mean, I'm so happy. Maybe they've met. We don't know much about what the life after. But Wali Juana, my late brother, he, he passed on in 204. Then followed by my other brother, our second born. Our second born was called Meshak Kibet Chebon. Meshak passed on when he was in the U.S. And um, I mean, it was a shock. And I mean, these are very, very close uh, family who have lost. And um, it has been a, it has not been easy for us as a family, but we thank God. Your man and I encourage na kuambia to kuwe tayari. Hatu jui time yetu ni gani. Hatu jui mungine ni leo, mungine ni kesho, mungine ni usiku. We don't know our time. Let's all be ready. So, I also lost. Uh, I lost a nephew. I lost a nephew by the name Leif Lindela Bore in 2008 uh, 2018 i never met this nephew but he touched me and i would i just told the parents that i look forward to that resurrection day when i'll meet him because i never met him and now robert robert was very true i mean he was my husband he was, he was my everything so i have four really close people who have lost and that's why in any encourage to really live, you know, according to God's teachings, because they were very close to me. These four people were very close to me. My two brothers, my nephew, and now my husband. Uh, and, and being ready, in my view, means that unajua sisi ni binadamu. Kuna wakati unakosea mtu, kuna wakati unakosea wengine, as in mungina nakukosea, as in we should Mtu wakikukosea, be ready to forgive. There's a verse in the Bible that God says, forgive 70 times 70. I think God was saying, forgive, no rudie, forgive, keep forgiving, keep forgiving. Hakuna muisho. So let's forgive each other because, and again, you know, ukikosea mtu, na saa zingine unataka kusema, kuask for forgiveness, na labda mungu wa mchukue, na ujaomba msamaha. You see, I mean, it will, it will affect you. You'll feel guilty all your life that you didn't say sorry to this person you hurt. So let's, I mean, let's, ukikosea mtu omba msamaha. So that is the, just the encouragement that I wanted to encourage you with. Um, now, I keep, I keep dreaming about Robert. Not keep dreaming, but the dreams I've had about Robert, he's just on a smile too. And akuna conversation, just smiling only. And I can confidently tell you that Robert is at peace. I can confidently tell you he's at peace. This, this great man is at peace. Robert was a, was a staunch Christian. He was dedicated. He alikuwa napenda mungu. And he used to love hymns. He used to love hymns. He used to love Bill Gaither, homecoming hymns. Na kuna moja alikuwa nikiwa jikoni or whichever place anasema mama Sasha, he used to call me Sess. Sess, kuja usikia yu imbo. It's a song, thank God, uh, for kids. DJ, please, you'll play that song when we are taking lunch as the song number one because I feel that is a song my husband is dedicating to me. So he'll play that first song because alikuwa na nita tu. Sess, come, kuja usikia yu imbo. And it's a song just thanking God for kids and saying how kids are lovely. Now you can compare kids with heaven. That, that's what the song says. So I think, I think I'm done with the speech. I'd like to introduce our bridal team. Please come over here.
kina chirono, kina charity. Those who are uh, in our bridal team, please come over. Paul, Paul was in our bridal team. Chris is not here. I don't know, he's on his way coming. Yes, Chirono is here. Uh, yes, this was our bridal team. There's another guy from Nairobi. He hasn't arrived yet, but we'll introduce him later. So this, is, this was uh, our bridal team. Others didn't make it to come. This is uh, Robert's brother. He's called Paul. Then we have Chirono. Chirono is my cousin. Her mom is my uh, Senge. Senge is now brother to my dad. We have Charity. Charity is my cousin, oh. my first cousin. And Charity is my first cousin, but she's my escort today. Now, you can have a seat. Thank you so much. Now, before I sit, I have two autograph books. One auto autograph book, a small one, is for the Wale Wanaita Robert Anko, um, the Wale Wako High School or Primary. You can write an autograph. Just write a message you'd want to write to Robert or anything. Then another uh, autograph for the for the adults or his friends. You just write any message that you'd want. It, it's optional if you feel you don't want to write or you, I mean, it's, it's just a, an autograph of just writing a message apart from this guest book. Um, Now, just before I go to sit, because Robert lived his life well, we are celebrating Robert. Robert is in heaven. He's in heaven. Yesterday night when I was sleeping with the small baby, Jeremy, Jeremy and Asema, Daddy is here. Daddy is here. Me and Shindu and Asema, Daddy is here. What does he mean? So, I mean, maybe his spirit is, maybe pastors will cl clarify that, but I mean, his spirit is still living on. Lakini mtoto alisema, daddy is here, daddy is here. Then another time, kitambu, Jeremy anasema, daddy, daddy. So I decided to ask him, daddy ako hapi? Akasema, daddy kimbia. Sasa badai, ni kakuja kufikiria, daddy kimbia. You know when you're running, kukimbia, you're either running kuenda, ama running towards me. But I think yake running kimbia means he was going. And you know running means uli kimbia, as in going faster. Not walking. How kusema daddy tembea? Alisema daddy kimbia. So my interpretation of that means that they really left us too soon and too soon and too quickly. That was my interpretation. That was Jeremy. Jeremy is not here. I can't see him. But that was our small baby. So as we finish, I'm dedicating a song to Robert. DJ will play that song, People Like Me, by Graham Morgan. That's, I mean, oh. Robert is in heaven. Robert is in heaven. He's singing with the angels. So this is the song I'm, I'm dedicating to him. If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more Thank you. you Thank you very much. Uh, Cecilia Chirchiri, I gave you enough time. Nili Europa kusimamesha. Because hii ilikuwa siku yako. Na wacha tuendele. Ninakaribisha Paul Chirchiri. Dakika mbili tu peke yake. Niliwaomba mbeleni. Kabisa, kabisa, tuko nyuma ya saa. Kabisa, kabisa. We are totally late. Saa hii tungekua tunamalizia, malizia. So wale wanaongea sasa dakika mbili, mbili, mbili. Karibu, Paulo. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, God is great. And all the time. Okay, thank you very much and thanks for coming to celebrate with us the life and times of Robert. Uh, mine will be very brief because, you know, for me, I grew up with Robert and he was very close to me. So if, if I start talking, uh, today is not even enough. I need to, to write a whole book about uh, my closeness with Robert. Uh, Robert was my younger brother, but uh, you couldn't know who was younger than the other one because we went to the same nursery school. Uh, from there, we went to class one all the way to class eight. And then uh, we only separated when he went to, to Mango High School and I went to Lenana School. But we met at the University of Nairobi again. 
only that we were doing uh, different courses. So you can see how close we were, all the way from nursery all to the university. So when we remained very close. Uh, like I said, I can't I can't uh, talk about everything here, but uh, just get to know that I was the closest because I'm the eighth born and he, he was the ninth born. So you can see how close we were, even within the family. And uh, also, I happen to be the only person who, who who had an opportunity to to go to Mombasa and uh, pay my last respects. Because you remember, in 2020, it was not possible for anyone to to even view the body. But uh, I got that opportunity to go to the hospital, identify, pay my respects, and at least uh, supervise the way they were doing. You know, those days they were they were covering the body, so after that, nobody else can be able to view. So it was very painful, but at least I accepted and. Uh, I know that uh, God's grace is sufficient. We we have been able to move on. Uh, the, the painful uh, part of it is how he left us. Like uh, Cecilia has talked about, you know, if someone leaves without you knowing that he was sick, even having an opportunity to to wish him a quick recover a quick recovery, no, there was nothing like that. You only get to know that he left. It, there is nothing else. So it was, it took a bit of time uh, to cope with that. But uh, we thank God we have been able to to go through the healing process and uh, we are okay. So as I finish, because I had only two minutes, uh, I want to encourage all of us, if, if, if you have not uh, gotten the vaccination, please do. Uh, because, you know, we cannot take anything for granted. Robert went through that. And uh, I'm sure if, if maybe if the vaccinations uh, had come that time, maybe things would have been different. But everything is, uh, is, is, is with God. We can't say much. But let's do our best. If, if you can be able to get vaccination, please do. Thank you very much. Asante. Sana Paul Chirchiri. Lea Kishara. Karibu. Utoe. Maungesi yako. Alafu atafuatwa na Mr. Kamaing e, awe akijitarisha kukaribia. So uyu ni Lea Kishara aseme machache. Last night Jesus. Last night kugen. Kia jam Jesus ori binda tab sabanda nyo. Ko minute se ga nge na na wejo ko tu tena amuna mwalimu. Ko nana ager kityo tuku ke ba maana je nyalo amwa tamale ni jo bago na ngale jo mwa nyi ne ngalale na ta mwa go ngo mun ka go mutu ago kwe ka go bwa ne ngale o ki soi go ra mungu ke le go ro ek sei go ra go ba en ngale go ngo imising en betu ta brain ki ma mu jo nyo barrio ne baro pa ta mungu ki ga gere je na irobi ki go le magisi re re ko ki go ra ga ne no lai ni ki go nya e jo ba ki ga muite Ama cha moyo gongo yagara Cecilia, amu ni nenda niki rip Robert for nine years, agori Robert kumye, ogera maendele ona ki ya Robert, koga ra ra, ndagi Cecilia ogu gijita niki mago kase it koto maga ra ra, to to mara go osne tere, koe ni mane koge ya in Robert kasi ni uangi professor, kite go taraka. Coming at the other job, this camp on go one key job together. Go let us to go to die. When you're about go bad, they never like when you're dying. Come on, go let a raven and you're no go in the key. I took your give a raka go when you're young at home. My mind, that kind and you go like Sarah or fast pon and go to the party. Oh, I never you go no gara. Mago na nene, higo na ngiti yung alaga disciplinary. Ko en alaga property, ko gichita na gim yung alaga sa kong eteng ko mingin. Yamu na fast po na agere la ko eteng tugu. Mago ngo meti to alenji galia. Kitugu tugu ngiti yung ko yai. Inke ko aneta la ngle kyo ngo nda i meti. 
ale meai ne meai ne lakini robert ko ki chita ne ki cham jehova ko ki not komiten university ko ki anetisi yes data of skills ko wendi ko la ndi mission ki pasta ko alimpa paringo tungo ito ale njara mago imise na unit ya jang kale amate bo so ga se jehova gara sae ko ki gel ga robert ki ki me ngalata ab jehova ko kimwae ko ngoen chota ndugul ama cha mwa kitya le formula ile mututa bi choba ko maginae formula magi muche ke na formula ile yobu ki nge choba betusya ka prophet ko kagisi ki mwa bible kole inken ot ko tom ke sichin ko ki nge formula na prophet ko le wetu tano mi formula sya cha ka ko mase sile abi che ki ibet ko ki formula ne nywang ko ki mi o age tugul le ne che ko mi formula ya formula ko oret ne ibu ne iwendi kipsengwet ko ka mwae kole chuljinge ngolyot ab jehova amu mengen ile ki mutung ora ki mutung ogoron onge chuljinge ngolyot ab jehova situn ge ger chamanik cho ge no limbo kipsengwet ko ki saun cecilia inye mingin ak family ne mingin nge ger in ko touch we are touched you are young you have young children you are a father and a mother we pray for you for protection we cover you in the blood of jesus christ you are beautiful and i pray god no man can come to to to, 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 to suggest to you that you can marry yes the bible says you marry when uh, when death has come to remove remember paul in the bible he was a stone follower of christ let me tell you what is the point of gaining the whole world and you miss the path of righteousness to heaven remember the wife of lot when he was when she was being brought from you remember sodom and gomorrah she was going to be saved but she looked back and she became the pillar of salt i'm telling you cecilia don't look back to the worldly things because they cannot take us anywhere we pray for you god knows your situation and your parents and you are in loss we have come through a very tough time we lost our parents now we have nowhere to look to and i'm praying mama cecilia papa cecilia you are now the parents for cecilia and i like the way cecilia plant all this is we see robert from young age until we come by the time you reach here you see a metoka so the way you are organized it's very good we love it so once again let us love god onge sukun age walage mami yore dage pik che kigoba matonge gerer met kele kagoba enjoy in heaven Uh, Robert is in heaven and he is looking at us in spirit as we don't need to get distracted and then you miss the path of righteousness to heaven let us hold on fast to that which we have received from God so that one day we are able to see our loved one in heavens we lost we lost Elizabeth who was also a uh, staunch Christian she did her mission up to the last minute and she didn't know she was going to go to heaven when she told uh, her daughter uh, Jebkri go and make tea in the kitchen and then you bring the tea was made before the tea was ready a messiah ended she just collapsed and she went to heaven it was a, a, a real shock even up to today and let us not blame anybody it is god's formula I remember even our auntie Mary Cherono ne kikinyong kikat ko baibait kirugemo manget in the morning because ki baibait yani there is no formula there was also another young man I was told when I was young that there was two, this, there was this kimi boyo ne kikolkol kapisa ne kingotwe kikerwe lakini ki betu ne kikoe chepyose nyingkowet the liver kolugui lakini kigerak liver en ireu 
Koyom kobus kobus. Ko lelen bing mayo go birech. Korway. Ko nge di jikang ko par goet. Korge la nyi. Ko par goet. Ko pnyan no jeb yoset. Git la ko mwe ka lelen mayo go bir. That was formula na nyi na. Elegi we di da kwa gip zeng goet. Ki lelen git yo. Cham cha ho ba na ngu. Ko ta yi sabe. A mwen yang ka yi rung wen. Ko me yi ngete ko ke nyi wen da di. Tien agi tien chi gip ta ya. Kutako mi mokwe kutom kutere situ. Ki mwa en baibo liko le. Tien chin cha ho ba. En tukuk cha kipute. Tien chin with herbs. Bless God when you are still alive. Time will come when the eyes will not see. Like in the book of Job. Job was so disparate and she was talking, he was talking to the friends. And each friend who came was not giving any sympathy. Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke. But a rebuke to a righteous heart is a blessing. So let us hold on fast. I still want to advise Cecilia. Please, Cecilia. Robert is gone. And he is gone forever. You hold on to that which you have from Jesus. One day you will see him. We will see him. We have hope. If God was not there, was, why was the Bible written? God is there because we see the Bible. And this day can even be a day for many more souls to come to Jesus Christ. I'm sorry my two minutes are over. But uh, it's a burning issue. I want to say this. We are with you in prayers. Our parents for Cecilia, please cover Cecilia in prayers. A prayer from a mother and a father goes direct to heaven. Leave alone the general public who may have stolen something and then they want to pray. The prayers will not even reach the ceiling. But a prayer from a righteous person will go direct. So all of you, let us follow Jesus. There is no root cut. Now, if Cecilia again, if you sue now these people who are reckless with the life of Robert, and that was the formula for Robert to go, it's painful. Now, you will give yourself more pain because you might be told things which will injure your heart and you are still healing. We forget the first, let's just forget the past things and ask God to heal us. Because even if it's not it's, it, so let Robert rest in peace. From my heart I'm saying it was his formula. If we follow to say why did you say this? Why did you say this? Satan is a liar. Satan will pass through those things. And then you are told things which are painful in your heart. And you get injured more. And when you, you, you want to talk about it, maybe nobody is listening to, to that. It's like, why are you following? It is gone anyway. So we pray for you. May God Jesus Christ lead you and your family. I'm happy even for the organization, EPRA. Who, has, who have employed you, we, ki we give thanks. We cannot take this for glory. It means Robert had already prepared a way that I'm starting this, but my wife will come and continue, continue with it. So, Jamanika of Jehovah, Kongoi missing. And I know Baba Thomas and Yun Kamaying, Amuawaka, the Kongoi Amuna Kwege. function I'm sorry, I've finished two mi more than two minutes. God bless you all. Kongoi, I am 12 minutes. Kwana kamai.
Kongoi sekian wagi itu sekarang apa mong agerin saya sih kau coba kau kau imenci ya mau agen kayak gitu. Samualin kau ganjang tadi tadi nyon, kau kagak ski nego so, kau kagak min nun nego tadi tadi nyon, kau kagak so mungkin matung kau imenci siapa yang ni nanti, kau kagak so musuh mukis anda kau ada. Kongko guna ni, awak cakap so makan ni aku kiri kini sih. Kute suan cak dia, ati beo kan lagi. Kute suan cak dia. Nak guna ni minit itu tak kaya kaya para koi koi kangwan. Dio. Kasari, embe tu nyebra. Kau kongko yang kau nami, jadi nama jiran. Inon ni ku magi mi teri tak kiam nyugi nye, kini kaya kas tuit ke lega kuah, eh? Kau kiam ni re, sihiri re kau kaya mi betul. Orang ni kemi ten siri, kongko en cukup buat eh, kau bunyi tak? Kau ro en neba tuwe nyu. Kau ro Cecilia, kongko ima, kongko in ne kafe sa, aku kongko in ne sibuk kau kabo mori. Kabo mori kau amwa am lenja utoh godin endu miba tuinya aku santani nengwo kemwa itu gue amu kau buat en gue ni kau kau agas aku kau agas robatin ni kau range ruyo Arab Kirchi, kueri tam negi tupje, negi kure Johnston je pulu, guna angge mitera, kapje pulu lai, kau yang bawa men kau kita nun ne kau baru ba, kau kongoi, robatin ne, kau laku eh, kieng kau kaki gas kau kacor curin de. Inen dan me, yang kafka si legi 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 mi, kau kira semua ni tuan ni kebelai, kira semua ni tuan ni nengwa. Kuno tanam mana sekarang mualik kungui ingkar nama cikgu inam kulik cuma cikgu aji siri agi gur kuanisiek angetap kami siek agamati. Jemitin jisab tos kunyungu kuge, kungu korai ini goya api jahit. Amun kungu tono nak ager ingu ni ager ingu kuni gini. Niki awak cini tu mi enarus. Iko aga bawa mari, aba mutu lakuan ini ni. Aba mutu ni batu wet kugi kanyu. Kita toke rano bawa mari, kungu bawa mari. Kungkine, bukia sore, ya sore, eh, ya sore ni, kota itu, aku apa aja tu mina Nairobi, aku kungkui, na na tu ibu na namun kau kalian, asal jam ke telil ni nak tay nyu nanti, kau kau ni, kata nyu ni cebio saya tu kira kau tuji. Itu anda negeri ke? Agar meta ceruti ni jono mami, jono tiada nunggu suku gerin lagu itu aku gerin kau ni teni cungkul lengan niki nyaman, amun kita agak buang kau ratua. Yo na ima, kau kiri ti kerja o mama tu kiri kau kerja apa kau mesti. Orang tiada nak tay tamu lagi muai ngan muka kita rei mago nama ini kani sangat lekwa.
mochi. Neta amajo awe ki chova kungwe. Ena basin. Siki muy gara ki tilili. Ko. Kike muy te kwa ki muy gara ki tilili. E nungun. Ndo tika ki buwa gara ki ki mato ki tilili do si. Tuku ki awe gara. Seta ni wae tuku ki majoto. Ke mochi ni chova kungwe. Amuni. Ki jame robate. Olio tab chova. Ako ki ribe. Ko kasarta nyin. Ke nae gara ki li ki wako mnye. Ingoni tena cha hanjogi, pare uni, onge nali, magi ge walago, magi ge gusegi tu, inge buano gito magi na mkuaji si, kiga ge buano ge zuru, la kuana, kiyuma gongoi, kiyota ache, kugiyo kone, na ike ebe na irobi, agi ya chitumi, gongoi, kuri ba kioba, aguri be chage che, agi ribla ba echo. Iki bago aku, aku ngi ngi kau tiga, mati ngi tak ngi tiga ibu ke betapa nongi kau tiga, kau tak ngi mite neman, ngi ibu nak ngi, mati nyong alio, kau orang sky nenyo, kongoi misi, kongoi kongoi kongoi, kaya kaya kasai, mame, ngoi mingi, iti nyebo murgui, imuajini. Ndai omi ki nega 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 imi imwa jini kumwa we aki che ki onga koko eli ki tinye na bas ke buang kora ma kongoi kunyona imi bas kongoi sasa tunaenda familia ya chebon so kidion chebon mwenyewe karibu yo uchukwe na fase alafu job Awe tayari. Alafo Marta awe tayari. Alene tayi aga toki ngazi tab chesu. Kusema kweli. Na shukuru mungu sana kwa wakati huu. Kwanza nikependa mama akuje karibu na mimi. E, mungu ametenda mapenzi yake. Na hatuna jambo la kumwambia Mungu kwa nini. Wale wameongea mbele. Wamesema juu ya Mungu vile anachagua e, maua yake. Na kweli ametenda na Robert ambaye kwa mama na, 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 na mimi ni kama our firstborn uh, uh, son in law is our firstborn son in law and we loved him so much wakati sisili alipokuja kusema huyo ndiye uh, bwana wangu basi na kulete uh, robert kulete wasasi wake sisi tulishukuru mungu sana tukasema sasa tumepata son in law na mungu kweli Alitenda mapenzi yake. Robert alitupenda. Robert tulimpenda. Robert pamango. Kila wakati. Tukiongea na simu pamango. Ya mune pamango. Wakati ya gane. Na tulikuwa na wakati njema mzuri sana. Lakini tuseme nini. Wakati wa mungu ni wakati wake. He was a very hard working man. He was a very loving uh, father to his children. Na tulishukuru mungu kwa jili yake. Lakini basi mungu ndiye mtawala wa yote. Na hapo pia tugependa kushukuru mtoto wetu uh, Sicilia. Kwa sababu alitulia, tulimuangelesha. Mama akawa na lugha yake ambaye alimwongelesha kwa upole na akapoa aliendelea kupoa pole pole na Mungu akatenda mapenzi yake na hata wakati mambo ilikuwa bado msito e, tulim visit kule Nairobi mambo bado msito e, dada zake na, na na ndugu zake walimtembelea kule walikuwa pamoja naye 
kwa wakati mwingi na remember even one of our daughters the last born moved to to, to to stay with her it was so hard lakini ali alifumilia sana she, she, we thank god because of her kama si neno la mungu ambaye alikuwa anajua labda mambo ingekuwa tofauti lakini kwa sababu ya neno la mungu alishikilia neno la mungu alisikia maombi tuliomba mara mingi hata pamoja kwa simu tuliomba tukiwa uh, tumeenda huko na kuka, we had some days to be with her there and uh, we talked on almost every now and then mpaka akapoa uh, kanisa ya huko mahali anaenda pamoja na uh, watoto walikuwa naenda pale wa, walikuwa wa msaada sana ninapenda pia kuwashukuru na pia tunashukuru eh, ndugu za eh, Robert na dada zake because you also played a very big part tungependa kushukuru Mungu sana kwa ajili yenu na vile muliungana pamoja na hata mpaka wakati wa mazishi mukawa united we want to thank you and uh, thank god because of you that uh, mulishikilia mtoto wetu pia uh, mpaka wakati sasa ukiona kama mwaka yenyewe imeisha it is like god has done a very great miracle tungependa pia kushukuru wazazi wa uh, robert mama na baba uh, tangu walipokuja kwa engagement tumeshawa visit the number of times tumeshawa kuwa na nafasi ya kuwa pamoja nao mpaka hata wakati uh, uh, bab, mama alitangulia na mam, na baba wao tuli attend all those uh, uh, the funerals na tulishukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya hawa these are christian parents ambao walilea watoto wao kwa njia ya neno la Mungu na ndipo i'm sure nyinyi watoto wake mtafuata hiyo example if anyone is going to go astray itakuwa ni uh, jambo mbaya sana tushike neno la Mungu ili uh, pia uh, tupate kukutana na wazazi wenu ikifika wakati wa mwisho tunashukuru pia kwa sababu ya uh, mzee kuwa na bidii yeye yeah, alikuwa very hard working mpaka akapata mashamba ya kugawia watoto wake this is not a simple thing kila mtu anajionea huyu alikuwa mtu wa bidii huyu alikuwa mtu ya kuangalia kwamba watoto wake in future hawatakosa mahali ya kuishi pamoja na wajukuu and i believe eh, watoto wake nyinyi sasa kutoka Jackson uh, tulimwambia Jackson sana wakati alikuwa mgonjwa Mungu Mungu alitenda mapenzi yake na kumsaidia pamoja na wale ndugu zake wengine wili Uh, Paul uh, 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 John <laughs> John <laughs> and Nathan nyinyi kweli mlifanya kazi njema kumsaidia huyu mtoto wetu pia by to us uh, Robert was one of our sons so tunawashukuru sana kwa hivyo muwe pia na umoja yenu kama jamii na itakuwa kitu ya kuwasaidia katika miaka zijazo Eh, kama sisi familia yetu tunaongozwa na ndugu wetu ambaye ni eh, Job Chebon amekuwa introduced hapa na yeye ni chairman wetu katika familia na sisi wote tuna tea vile anasema na vile tunaungana pamoja ku, ku discuss as a family so the same thing i believe eh, you are doing as a family eh hata kama Jackson amekuwa mgonjwa the rest of you will the, the others Let's join up Paul and, and uh, John and another mungane pamoja unapokuwa pamoja hivyo uh, Mungu an, kazi ya Mungu inafanyika vizuri na tunashukuru because mulifikiria pia ungana pamoja kwa kukumbuka miaka hizo eh, mwaka hiyo mmoja ambaye ilienda kama miaka kumi, lakini ilifika kwa hivyo mukasaidiana na mukafanya hivyo kwa hivyo tunawashukuru tuna sana Mungu aendelee kutenda mapenzi yake katika maisha yenu na mtapata kuendelea uh, kuwa na bidii kama vile tulikuwa nasema uh, Robert alikuwa mtu ya bidii ame 
kujaribu sana kununua akiona kitu ya kununua ananunua kama ni ploti kama ni shamba kama ni nini hiyo ndio bidii ya kufanya kwa sababu msupo eh, kila eh, nyinyi sasa msupo msupo fanya hivyo watoto wenu watakuwa na shida kwa hivyo ni kufanya bidii kabisa na ile imeingia mchunge ndio itakuwa faida kwa watoto wenu kwa hivyo mkiwa na hiyo umoja definitely mtafaulu eh, tunashukuru pia kwa eh, somebody call Kasale eh, nafikiri Kasale akupata nafasi ya kuwa pamoja nasi maana eh, eh, wasani lo had bought eh, chamba huko pande za Narok eh, tu 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 chamba in fact ya kila moja ni ya kama moja moja lakini kuna walipanda alipanda miti uh, is a very uh, kama ni, uh, if my father was he, here angesema maneno mingi juu ya robert because my father like planting trees amepanda uh, miti kila pale kila shamba ako naye amepanda miti amepanda miti na hiyo shamba zinaendelea vizuri and that is a wonderful thing because robert and kama ame copy uh, our father so um, hiyo shamba ikawa na shida kuna mtu ambaye aliingilia uh, na huyo naitwa Kasale i wish he was invited but i think he might have had a problem somewhere na alipiga simu na kusema huyu mtu tukienda kwa police wanasema wapi relative wake then jambo hili nikapeleka kwa our chairman uh, katika jamii uh, kasema msungoje mkisikia tu hapana hapana ngoja prepare to go immediately and find out what is happening so one of our brothers also akitoa akatoa gari yake tukaweka mafuta tukaenda mpaka huko tulipofika huko huyo mtu akasikia ati watu wao wanakuja alitoroka na kupotea kabisa hmm? kwa sababu jambo la muhimu ni kusaidiana huyo mkasale i wish he was here alitenda kasi ya ajabu sana kwa hivyo tunashukuru kabisa kwa uh, 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 watu wengine ambao walisaidia uh, kasi hii basi tunashukuru pia kwa makumbusho kama hii uh, sisi pia tunakuanga na makumbusho kama vile uh, Cecilia amesema uh, we lost our two children na baada ya mwaka moja sisi zote tuliungana pamoja na kuenda kule na kukumbuka na hii ni jambo it is iko kwa kimila iko hata kwa biblia kukumbuka wale ambao uh, uh, watu wetu because Eh, wazee walikuwa nasema after one year watu nakuja na kusema kimeche gail karika eh, boyot and kimeche gail karika eh, somebody of the family kwa hivyo hiyo inafanyika na inakuwa kitu mzuri sana e kama kuna jambo ya kukumbuka ya kusema juu ya ule ameenda that was the best time to talk about it kwa hivyo tunashukuru kwamba eh, mbefumbuka kusaidiana kwa ajili ya kukumbuka ndugu uh, uh, wenu uh, Robert ambaye kwa sisi kweli he was also very uh, close to us i also want to thank our watoto wa Robert Sasha na Dylan na uh, Jeremy vile mnaona uh, they are small children but they seem to to be ahead of their time uh, kuongea kufanya nini eh? and especially uh, Dylan akiongea wakati mwingine nasikia karibu nitoe machozi ananiambia oh baba yangu baba yangu atakuja na atakuja ataniletea bicycle nyingine ile yetu tulikuwa naye imeharibika na no, atalete huyo baba yangu ana eh hey, ananipenda he was really he, he talks a lot uh, very nicely kwa hivyo eh, tuwe tuwe kelelezo pia kwa watoto wetu mm, nikependa pia kushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya jirani wenu hapa pasta asante sana pasta chirchir uh, asante sana pasta we we really had a good time uh, with him when, when we came here we had a very short time but tulisaidika sana kwa hivyo tunashukuru pia tunashukuru pia uh, kambuni hiyo ya epra kwa sababu ile ahadi waletoa hapa sisi tuliketi chini na kupiga magoti na kuomba Mungu kwamba jambo hili ipate kutimia si kwa sababu ya jambo lingine ni kwa sababu ya hao watoto ya uh, Robert so God did his will and uh, they they employed her 
so tunashukuru hawa uh, epra kwa sababu ya kutenda mapenzi yake jinsi uh, walitenda so we thank god in all we are very grateful and therefore tuna ndugu wetu ataya taongea kidogo kuna pia dada wetu kuna pia mtoto wa ndugu yetu lea just few words dakika moja moja ama mbili mbili sijui nani aanze ndio tumalize pamoja na senge ndio atakua kipindi kwa senge atakua wa mwisho kumalizia asante This is our eldest brother, uh, Job Jebon. He's the chairman of our clan. Ama Jabu yet. And we are going to get a quid. I'm going to get a quid. I'm going to get a quid. I'm going to get a Apo tio le mamuchi kwa kikuwa na nbora inda kidogo na mamuchi angalal. Apo yetu nubara. Shere. Apo jane yetu nige ako sirta. Mgenye akenge nubo kusirta. Ake buwa piga ap baringo. Piga ap tuwen. Ake buwa kap chebun. Ak choru na ek chok. Ak lagu ak chok. Alak kuko ito kutungunu punu Amerika. Amu chom je ne kakas. Kelen mi shere niki boka buo tuti kap sante kap kap chebun niki sirta genya ke. Ame chan wait nga lekcho cho amuaya amuaya ingit yo ole pik chiko tau poisho ni wara niko ki buo ti murin niki kaku sirta genya ke kwa mecha mwa chiko ngoi mi sing kap chir chir boto kap chibun boto lago kwa chi lakini saidi mwanga na langonu kwa pongo ni poisi uni oku kunyu oku poisi rapi ni kichik wal ema isechu kake poisi rapi ni mwanik mi akutla kwa ni kubunu amerika ni kubunu ndege aku poisi rapi ni chumarugu nini Oh, oh. Ah, tu karibisha kijana ametoka kwa ajili ya hii sherehe ya. Naona huyo ni sister wake, huyo ni sister wake, huyo ni brother. Nyoyo kijana, nyoyo boy. Kuja. Eh? Kongo ya majani. Eh, Na Uyu ni ndugu ndugu kabisa ni tu chokla kwa ni 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 boisi ni bara u ame challenge karibu siara ofsete ge gunun bara inda labda ko salamia watu hapa no ni ko ame challenge ko ngoi missing ko ame cha mo chi chi ga tugul chang bi chi sirto chi to chi mi yo ko tigu ko sirto bi kwa amo yega ko sirto ka ge tu bo bo ko ngwenete wana sao ko sao lakini lazima fanye kitu kama hii tukumbuke niliona mtoto wetu vile alikuwa naongea kwa gari kabisa kakucheru kakucheru shida mingi alitoa kuongea yote amemwaga nafikiri kuanzia kesho amepona kuliko jana so ni siku kubwa tufanye vitu kama hii ni kwa moitoe niwe ngale gaven guberuru njoba mbia ketole ulikamentu kuchu akulikupa isien kungonyune Petu ni kwa yugurin, utawacha yote. So, na shukuru wale wame spend pesa yao kukuja, kupoteza kazi yao hile ingine, kwa jili ya siku ya leo. Kwa sababu, hii tunawacha. Haya, kwa ufupi. Kwa isecho waka puwa, kupoto chebeo sana waka puwa, tilio ndu ticho, kukitinyo tilio ndi no missing. Petu ni kuyo puwa, kego na okla kwenyo. Haya, wanginoka kuwa ni nguwa? Mi ni nyo? Tos kipek tiliandi, mi anan mami, ngiro, mi ano, kikira te chelie, anju, mungogir lagoge, mami lagoge kikuko nago, koge sikwe, mungogir hunik, che, mi tiliandi, okoitun, kenyake, koro tiyukwoko, 
Ok, tu as un peu de temps, 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 tu as ya ipaisi irib la kuchoka kigoni rib sutungu ribin haya achek chu kitu pia aki ipaisi akngo getorit kai ya wa acha kai uye kama chichu kule kuna kama michi kuna kama chaguo chenga mbar na kuna getorit kitiomo tu tu saidi yana na tu kule i shamba ilikuwa ya mwenyine alikula akayenda la kuani kula weka ngombe kula ita kuenda utai tu tawacha mwenyine akuje Ata labda hii shamba kulikuwa kuna watu, tukule kwa wakati yako. When you are still alive, do something. Na ukule hii dunia. Kabla hijafanya nini? Konga hii, konga hii mese. <laughs> Kai mwanga leki hichi. Bas, konga hii. Marta. Hichi onge chakten Marta. E calling in Gero Sigiri Psai, Tamunin Amunko Titagi, like you got in Chitogul, Kokoro me too. Okay, Congo, me. But Niaba, I said, Sank a shack while you walk up a Musimame. Mama Tupa Ali Muko, we on the Sanga Ellen, now we on the Sanga Trufena, to Nashukuru Mungu Kama Sanga Shaku, now and Gina Watatu, now and Gavesa Kufika, Lakini Sisi to Makuja could represent. Sange sek, sange. Ata na kuwa na uki smile. Na uki smile sisi tuna smile. Tunataka kusema asante sana kapir chir. Kwa sababu mumechunga mtoto yetu. Baka ata wakati huu ana smile. Kwa sababu you have taken care of her for one this one year iki was so heavy. Kapir chir. Thank you very much from there. Thank you, Sheikh Abisa. Congo missing. Napia. Thank you. We were umechunga pia kapchir chir. Kwa sababu umesi mama emara. Kama teriki. Kram girl. Congo. We are really very proud of you. Kwa sababu tunajua. To me walk na wewe for that one year, to ki communicate na simu, kukuja kutembeleana, to kilia pamoja, na wewe mwenyewe umeweka pendera ya Yesu mbele. Asante. Kabisa umesimama kama mkristo, na tunakushukuru, na umechunga hiyo watoto kufo one year, wakilia, wakikulisa maswali mingi, na wewe mwenyewe unalia, unalia pamoja na watoto yako, Ata saa hii umekuja na testimony. Yani, kio gira kwe kapisa, jini mchu kwa ngalal, okla akche, na buwana yake hayuko. Tumumeona ata memory verse ile tumepewa na watoto. Na ata kijana, kisema, ata ile neno, ata esa kusema kwa sababu ya baba yake. Sange, thank you. Hiyo ni testimony tutaenda nae, Na tunashukuru kabisa kabisa. Kuna tune na moja ningependa kusoma. Kutoka Re Revelations. Chapter 14. Chapter 14 verse 13. Mbaka 15 inasema. Uyu ni John na kiandika in English. Nasoma alafu tutaona. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, write. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works may follow them. That's a word to ngependa kuachia sisi wote. Tukijua wale wakufa wakiwa wa Kristo. Biblia inasema they are blessed. Na tena Biblia inaendelea kusema 
yale matendo yao walikuwa wamefanya kabla wajakufa inawafuata. Amen. Na kwa sababu hiyo maneno inafuata tumesema mambo mengi mazuri kuhusu Robert. Senge yetu sisi kama senge sheikh tunaita Robert Senge. Tunasema asante Robert kwa sababu yale ulitenda mazuri inakufuata. Hata testimonies tumesikia siku ya leo. Kama senge sheikh tunataka kuuliza kila mtu yule anasikia sauti yetu. Siku ile wewe mwenyewe ukilala kama Robert utarest wapi tunajua robert amearest katika bwana na matendo yake alifanya inamfuata tunasema kama senge sheikh mungu atusaidie kama hujaokoka kata kauli uokoke ili siku ya kurest turest tukiwa ndani ya yesu na saidi ya hiyo yale matendo tunafanya kila siku unajua <laughs> Hata saa hii kuna wengine wanafanya matendo tu saa hii. Kwa masimu kuna matendo unafanya, ukitembea kuna matendo unafanya. Yale itakufuata. Na siku ya kufika mbinguni hiyo ndio ita hukumu. So tunasema kama senge Sheikh Mungu atusaidie kila mmoja wetu yule ako hapa saa hii. Ya kwamba Matendo yale tunafanya. Siku yetu ya mwisho tukue watu wa kulala ama kufa tukiwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Na Mungu atusaidie na atubariki. Neno moja tu ya mwisho kwa dada yetu ama eh, Cecilia. We see you are very strong in the Lord. Na kuna verse moja tutakuachia tu kama sengeshe which is in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 which says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me yani nitaweza kufanya mambo yote katika bwana yule ananipatia ngufu teriki uko na ngufu katika jina la yesu na utashinda katika jina la yesu Kwa sababu neema ya mungu imekutosha. Na hile itakupeleka mbaka ata watoto wakua wakubwa. Tukuja hapa kwa shere ya weddings, shere ya graduations, shere mingi tutashereke hapa kwa hiki wanja. Kwa sababu you are strong. Kwa sababu you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Mungu atubariki na Mungu awabariki Asante asante sana Martha Tunaenda sasa kwa marafiki Mr Kemei from Eldoret na Mr Njeru so Mr Kemei first Neno moja moja tu Nimejaribu kuwaomba kabisa tuseme neno moja nimeona imekuwa it is a challenge. It is a challenge kabisa ku, kupungusa maneno. Ah, sante. Um, familia ya rafiki yetu, uh, sisilia na watoto, family tukul, nabaka para chirichiri kai tukul, kapchebon, zizi zote, unirusu ni wasalimu kwa jina la yesu wa mjambo. Eee, uh, Mimi kwa majina mimi naitwa Simon Kemefi le mumesikia. Mimi natoka kule Eldoret. E, uyu mungwa na uyu mwenye amelala ama alilala. Alikuwa rafiki yangu mkubwa sana. Kwa sababu tulikuwa na e-college. Na tulupitia mambo mengi. And e, jambo kubwa ambalo chirichiri uwa ananiambia tukikutana na e. Uwa ananiambia Kemei. Mie Jehovah. And for sure. Mimi na chirchir tuliona mungu. Kimni. Nataka ni shukuru kwa sababu eh, chirchir ya melala akifurai. Eh, tumekuja hapa kwa mwaliko wa Sicilia ili kwa pamoja tupate kusherekea maisha ya chirchir. 
tunataka kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu amelipa maisha mazuri na amepea watoto pia. Mimi niliongea na Chirchir siku kumi kabla ya yeye kulala. Na tulikuwa tu tunaongea maneno yote ya kawaida huwa tunaongea sana kwa muda mrefu kwa sababu tulikuwa tunajua penye tumetoka. And we were asking ourselves we were tulikuwa tunajiuliza kuhusu familia ya Chirchir wa itano kemei wa itano ale jini jirjir ngoi ngoi cha ngote itunye ndet kule nanya la kusoma kusoto na kushukuru sana Cecilia kwa sababu mko na watoto eh nimefurahi kwa sababu nimekuona pia kwa umesimama ndani ya Mungu kimeje kesome ngile jino ye namla gugu na ufundishe vile wamesema i liked what the do, your daughter said fundishe ye maneno size akiwa mdogo na hata kwa uzeni aweza kasahau so kimeje kesome kwa last covid kutono ncheho kwa kubaten pamoja na watoto yako tutasidi kuwaombea ili utembee na Mungu na sisi pia kama marafiki tutajaribu kutafuta nafasi ili tupate nafasi ya kukutembelea sijui kama kuna marafiki wengine ambao tulisoma na University wa Nairobi pamoja na Robert sijui kama wamekuja lakini kwa sababu nimetumia muda wangu mzuri sana i have friend, friends ambao tumekuja na wao chichir um, sorry barno and uh, and family and my wife Maybe Barno sijui kama utasema nikupea dakika moja ambayo ningetumia nimeona tu pija yangu na chirchira hapo na Barno na nikashangaa kumbe sisi tumekuwa wasi <laughs> I was a very tiny man lakini nataka kushukuru labda huyu bibi yangu amenilisha so let me just introduce my wife simama tu that is Priska Kemei that is my wife eh uh, ndapea Barno ili apate kusema jambo alapo tumalize Asante sana uh, bwana Kemei kama vile umesikia mimi naitwa Steven Barno. Uh, tumejuana na huyu ndugu yetu Munyalilala mwaka karibu 20 1999 when we joined the University of Nairobi together. So amekuwa very very close friend. Kama vile kama amesema unajua university kuna a lot of a lot of challenges. Na mnajua kuna mambo ya supplementaries, kuna mambo ya kurudia kuna mambo sometimes unalala kwa kuna chakula unakula cabbage na ugali tu peke yake so robert ni mtu ambaye tutuli experience hiyo maisha na yeye mimi nyumbani ni sehemu za nandi mali inaitwa lesos robert alikuja nyumbani mara mbili siku ya kwanza we went for a mission kama vile dada yake mkubwa amesema when we were at the university of nairobi sisi kama vijana wadogo hiyo wakati tukashikila tukashika neno la Mungu tukaenda missions kuhubiri na Robert so one of the places that we went ilikuwa kwa nyumbani huko la source na tuko na very very interesting stories that we had so uh, one year ago nilipambia watu huko la source ya kwamba Robert alilala walishangaa sana so some of them nilimwambia mimi naenda kwa Robert kulikuwa na sheria nyingine huko nyumbani one of the one of the pastors wakasema please ujukue salamu zetu kwa hiyo familia. Robert anajulikana huko nyumbani kwa sababu tulienda ukakahubiri and some of the messages na ujumbe ila alipeana hiyo wakati more than 15 years ago watu bado wanamkumbuka. Bwana sifu. So uh, Robert pia alikuwa in our wedding which is about 11 years ago. Robert was in our line era ata Uh, mke wake hawako wamefanya harusi so we were just a few months ahead of Robert hata kwa harusi so uh, tumefurahi sana i'm very happy vile nimeona mke wake amesimama na ameongea kwa nguvu <coughs> kumaanisha kwamba ame heal so tuendelee na maisha tushikilie neno la Mungu na bila shaka we know that God is in control asante ni sana pia nimekuja na mke wangu wacha nimwambie tu asimame pia muweze kumona anaitwa Beatrice Uh, na sisi pia tunaishi huko Loret pamoja na mwenzetu tukemei Many friends wako Nairobi na pengine wako kuweza kukuja. So asante Wacha Mungu awabariki sana. Thank you Steve. Eh uh, nikimalizia eh uh, mimi na Chirchir hiyo story yenye Bernard alikuwa anasema hii maneno inaitwa supplementary. Uh, I remember when I got a supplementary in Kibwa University. I was so much discouraged but this gentleman here mwenye amelala he made me in fact I have written up he made me who I am today because he was a man who could really encourage us because yeye pia alikuwa amepitia moto and we really want to thank God because um, he, the way he, re- he really protected us 
uh, when I graduated, mimi nilipata kazi kule South Rift, uh, Sotik, and uh, I happened to have visited Jesse Lyoth. And um, Chirchi tuwa tukikutana na ye, ananiambia bari ya siwa mi, naambia bari ya Jesse Lyoth. So I knew kwa kene Jesse Lyoth, but uh, uh, later I knew ya kwamba alihamia huko. So tunatua kusema ya kwamba, tuko pamoja. Let's keep on praying for Cecilia na watoto, and I'm sure they are going to go far. Wataenda mbali sana file nimeona. So hatuna maneno mengi. Kimeza kileja kupiga hapo level on dia ni mwagetu nyinga lingil rate. Kichama ke, mimi na toka kule wazingishu. Na mimi nafanya kasi pia katika hiyo serikali account ya wazingishu. We only want to ask all of us. Ya kwamba tunapo elekea katika sehemu ya siyasa. Kimeza ke so mge longi haiga aliyat mauna watu kweke. Na mungu ataesa kutubareki sisi zote. Wanga na walejang piketindoi maono kwa likimeza ke nyuru na 2022. Lakini yombiletu ni kwamba let's do this in peace. So asante ni sana. Mungu wapate kutubariki. Eh, Sicilia tutakuja kutembelea nini na watoto wetu so that we can have an opportunity for children also wajuane. Mungu wabirura wa kifoba asante ni sana. Kongo imising Mr. Kemei, uh, Mr. Njeru, alafu Mr. Christopher kwa sabu metoka mbali eh, alafu utakaribia. Neno moja, Mr. Njero. Ok. Onaesu wa sikiwe. Uh, mimi naitua Yustas Mulevi Njelu. Iko kwa familia ya Chiruchiru, Cecilia na watoto. Rambi rambi zangu. Mimi na Chiruchiru kujua na 2008. Tulianjiriwa Kenyatta International Conference Center siku moja. Tulipote the same day. Alafu mi ni katoka huko mbele yake ni kaenda epura. Mahali sasa hali marizia. Alafu wa kaludi ya kalipata huko after four years. Kile kitu kikuwa na chaka kusema sana. Mimi na chilu chilu. Tulikuwa malafiki sana. Mbaka watu walikuwa na shindo wa ha, watu wa metoka pamoja ama nini. Tangu tupatane tukawa malafiki. Unasikia tumetoka sembali tofauti. Na hata tulikuwa tu, tunaitana jina moja. Tukipata hata tukalibu tusahu majinetu. Sababu alikuwa na nita jogo na muita jogo. Alikuwa na niambia wewe ni jogo kweli na mina niambia wewe ni jogo ya ukweli. Na kusema ukweli, ye ni jogo ya ukweli. Sababu kama kuna unaeza ulizo na mutu lafiki yako ni nani. Sa hii tukikutana na wewe tu ni uniamushe usingizi ulize lafiki yako ni nani. Gini ya chilu chilu itakuja kwanza. Tulikuwa malafiki sana. Na siyo hile ya kufichania. Njua kuna malafiki wengine wakati wanataka kitu kwako. Wanakuwa malafiki. Na hata sisi ya naeza kuambia mimi na Robert. Tulikuwa malafiki sana. Mbaka wakati ya likufa. Tuita wandanganya. Nilishindwa kukuja mazimu. Na sija kitu ingine, ndo alikuwa lafiki yangu sana. Sia tinilishidua, jo nilishidua kupata fea ama nini. Lakini nilisema, ahiyo sitaweza. Sababu, sitaweza kujizuia. Kwa hivyo, familia ya chiru chiru. Kwa sasu wa chiru chiru na familia yao. Mujui ya kwamba, sio nyinyi pekeenu mulipoteza. Sio nyinyi pekeenu mulipoteza. Mimi pekea, mimi mwenyewe nilipoteza zaidi, zaidi, zaidi. Sababu chilu chilu singe mpigia simu ni muambie, kuna kitu inanizumbua, aniulize swali. Kwa hivyo, na ningependa mukae kama yeye. Kama unajua wewe si lafiki ya mtu, usikaribie yeye. Na kama wewe unajua malafiki, mukae kama malafiki. Yesu wa wabaliki. Asante, tunelekea kumaliza. Mr. Christopher from US. Please, kuseme neno moja, alafu ni karibishe area assistant chief, and yo tuende tumalize, malize ya raka raka. Nimeona muda sio upande wetu, area assistant chief, mwishimiwa hako hapo, ama aspirant, nasema machache. Karibu. Asante. Majina na hitu wa Chalimo Chebon, na... Nimefurai sana, <coughs> sijaifika hapa uh, kwa Cap uh, Chirchir, uh, kwa Cecilia na Let Robert. And 
Nasasema ni kuzuri. It's very beautiful. It's very very beautiful. Na fresh air na everything. So, pokeni salamu kwanza from my wife na mtoto wetu na ndugu yangu pia na familia yake na ni mzuri kukutana hivi na kumkumbuka Robert pia tunamheshimu inaonesha tulimheshimu tulikuwa na opportunity mara mingi kukutana na Robert na mna vile mnamjua alikuwa mtu anapenda kusmile he had a wonderful smile a big smile all the time and very soft very kind na kwa ufupi let's just do that in life kwa sababu kuna kitu uh, mwili yetu iko na kitu inaitwa endorphins kulingana na studies zile nimesoma na every time ukitendea mtu kitu mzuri endorphins zinatoka na unakuwa na as in roho imepoa hata hata heartbeat blood pressure iko sawa lakini ukitendea mtu kitu mbaya pia pia si kimwili au utakuwa na afya nzuri hata kiakili na hii dunia ni very interesting as individuals we need each other you cannot be by yourself ukisema ati mimi upewe hata island upewe kila kitu ni unataka hawezi survive bila watu na ningependa tu tu encourageiane tukae pamoja na especially tuki, tukimtaja Mungu ni muhimu tukue serious about it kwa sababu Mungu ndo alituleta hapa na Mungu atatuchukua kila mtu akona siku yake na ita happen so when you have that time because we don't know about the time in between kutoka Nairobi ama kutoka safari zote watu wamepitia watu wengi wameenda so to, to take advantage of that na tujengane tutendeane mema na, na ndiko sina 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 doubt kwamba tutabarikiwa na pia familia ya Kapchirchir it was a pleasure when it looked under now kitambo kabla sijaenda mali naishi it was very it was a pleasure kutana nyinyi na even though i took spend time sana it's 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 beautiful wa familia wawili kukutana hivi na kumkumbuka robert it's a it's a blessing so nashukuru sana asante ah thank you thank you very much uh let me invite area assistant chief Okay, bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Acha mimi nichukue nafasi hii nishukuru Mungu kwa sababu ametuwezesha tukue pamoja siku ya leo. Asante sana familia, especially Cecilia, ulinialika but I told you I might not come ama naweza kuja. Because umekuwa eh tangu tuachane siku ile atia ikutana, nikaona sababu uko wangu nyumbani. Wacha nikuje alafu tuchumuike pamoja. Then the other things because nakuanga nyumbani ni kuhudhuria hiyo ingine. So asante kwa kunikumbuka. Ingawa am um, the eh, tunaanzia photo map. Mimi ni mtu wa chini. Mimi ni mtu wa security wa boma lako. Mimi ninakaa kama watchman because I'm the assistant chief which means na wachunga katika kichichi. So thank you very much kwa sababu ulinikumbuka. Ukaniita at least tukumbuke na tushukuru Mungu kwa maisha ya huyu ndugu wetu ambaye alituacha kwa njia ya mstuko sana. Mimi as assistant chief ya area hii nilikuwa naona kama nimepata mtu wa maana ambaye mtu angeweza kutupeleka mbali but hata hivyo because you are there i know bado tutaendelea tu kusaidiana kwa mambo moja ama ile ingine. nilisikia maneno hayo wakati huo ni kama sikuwa nimemuona ni kama hatukuwa tumekutana but we have something tunaita field work field ni kusunguka kichiti uone ni nani anaishi nyumba nani anakaa hapa nani anafanya nini but hata mimi came nikakuja nikapata ni kama kuna mtu but sikuwa namjua but at least kwa naona ni mtu wa maana sisi tulikuwa tunaita Kane it is a Kane sisi ni Kane sababu ukipata mtu ambaye amesoma mtu ambaye anachua na life unafurahi but when i i got the message at yameaga it was uh, anyway ilikuwa ngumu but tunashukuru Mungu kwa hayo yote tena ninaomba apology. Wacha tu niombe msamaha kwa wakati ule wa mashishi. That is one year back down the line. Ilikuwa rush program. I think mliniona nilikuwa na uniform. Sani same. Siku hiyo tulikuwa na mambo ya COVID-19. Hata hatungeweza kuongea sana. Hatungeweza kukaa sana. Tulipata tamilolo chizingi. 
tukasikia mambo ya vocabulary ya sanitizing, tulisanitize, tukasikia distancing, those vocabulary ziliingia wakati huo, distancing, mask, those vocabulary zilikuja, I, I think, wakati ule mwingine atukua tumesikia mambo ya mask, hata mi sikuwa najua mask ni nini, barako, hata sikuwa ni meyayona, but during those days, tulikuwa na toza minologi, tukambiwa distancing, hata muna kumbuka tulikuwa tumeka mbali mbali, time was short, Krivi likuwa hiyo, kilio ndiyo hiyo, but pole ni sana, muta ni same too, because muliniwana likuwa na pimbo kidogo hapo, uniform likuwa mbaya sana. But hata hivo, tushukuru mungu, kwa sabu na wana familia, at least you are now, eh, mume, mume kubali, kitu ya jirai sasema ni kusema, mkubali, kian, kian kitu, you admit, ya nile mzee alienda, na alienda kweli. So niwe ubaki sasa na watoto, Baba kwa miongea vizuri mba kata ni mefurai. Baba mesema, tumia hii. Time well. Use this opportunity. Panda miwa, panda maindi, kula vizuri. Sherekea na ufuraie. Wakati ungali hai, ebu mii, ntuhu kecha. Am, and you enjoy life. Batu kumbuke, after the, ukienda, where will you go? Enye ufuraia, lakini ujua ya kwamba, after this world, where will you go? Mimi siyo pasta, lakini uokoke, Ukitengeneza safari yako. After this, where will you go? Kaa vizuri, ukijua ya kwamba kuna kuenda. Na ukisha enda. After, iyo kufufuka. Utafufuka na yesu, utalala ama utakufa. Na sikia wenye wameokoka, wanalala. So ukilala, unalala, ukilala jioni, at least asubu unamuka. Lakini ukikufa, unaenda, ukiendanga. So kumbuka iyo, ukika, ukumbuke. Otherwise, karibuni sana kwa area yangu. Ninawapenda. Ina wachunga, asisili, tuko salama. Musifikirie mtoto wenu wako peke yake. Ayami hata akienda badu minasema mini security. Ina chunga kila kitu, munaona miti kwa saa. Hata munaona environment kwa saa because around. Otherwise, God bless you. I'm going to teach this. Saidi ayo yote ni meokoka. Sandin. Oh, principal, aspiran. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Kuja useme your remarks. Karibu. Oh. Thank you very much. Wageni, Barisenu. Hi. Hi. And to my fellow neighbors, hi, Sangabi. Uwa mune. Okay, thank you very much. Mwashimiwa karibu sana. Feel welcome. And let me be brief. Be brief. Okay. Okay. I've been walking around and uh, I've had a lot of uh, comments from the neighbors and speech uh, from, not sorry, sorry, from the visitors and uh, uh, those, all those people who have talked. And really, uh, Patrick uh, is a person to be remembered uh, due to the, those old comments that have been said, it is, uh, it deserves to be remembered. It deserves to be remembered. Thank you. And let me advise also, Kijana ambaye ni kama mimi hapa, let me tell you, there is a secret behind success. And this secret is God. Make sure you are working with God. Kama hiyo miti ambaye, kukile kitebe ndoe, kia wangitebe ndoe ngele, obe ndate, ang mungu, itebe ndoe ngali hata hapchi oba, and you will go far. I've had all these people who have talked here, they have said that you should, they have mentioned God. They have mentioned God. So we should be working with God very closely, very, very, very closely. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, let me just sample myself because I'm very young. I'm not seeing my age mate here. I'm very young. And please kindly listen to me. Listen to me before I say these words. Uh, you, you can see there's, a, there's an animal. There's an animal, current animal. Let me just call him a current animal. And uh, the incoming MCA, I just want to give a di the difference between the current animal and the incoming MCA. If you can see, the incoming MCA has been the uh, principal for, 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 for a very long time. I can say very, a lot of years, in fact. And uh, now is the chief, he was the chief principal before Alimaliza Kaziyake, he was the chief principal. Imagine a, a chief principal is coming here to fight for a, a very small city. These people, they normally call a small city Kitimoto. Sasa, surely, Kitimoto. Anyway, let us just call it a Kitimoto. But what is the view of you seeing the principal, a very chief, a very, a very important person, I can say a chief principal, 
is coming to this small seat anakuja kiti kidogo kwa nini because according to me according to my own view ni ile aliangalia aliangalia tuko na mashida mingi tuko na mashida mingi jamani there is a lot of problem we are going through a lot of tribulations that we are going through and uh, let me be brief let me be brief and let me just give a comparison between that current animal and the incoming the incoming mca okay as you can see a principle uh, as i've said principle is work is, has worked uh, for a lot, several years being the principle unaweza ona physically ukiangalia physically 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 na hiyo current na huyo current current mca god will show you off to people never play with the the, 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 the belongings of the people ukiangalia yeye yeah, yeah, surely principle has worked for several years alafu mtu wangu the current animal amefanya amefanya for only five years and you can see the the phys- physical fit yani fenya amebeba tumbo kubwa na mheshimiwa hapa he has worked for several years na ana tumbo sasa nani anakula nani anakula let us work for people tufanyie watu kazi vizuri vijana sisi kama vijana we are just here depending on these leaders so mheshimiwa i'm welcoming you so that you can do very great things to these people vijana wamama na wazee thank you very much let me wel- let me kindly welcome you mheshimiwa karibu sana Asante sana, asante sana. Eh Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Asante sana kwa sababu nimepata nafasi ya kipekee niungane na nyinyi siku ya leo. Akumbusho ya rafiki yangu Robert. Nataka kusema asante sana kwa wale walipanga. Asante sana kwa familia ya Kirchir, kwa imbangilio. Asante sana kwa familia ya Sicilia na hapa anasema Sicilia. E, naona e, sisi tunasema polepole Sicilia. Uh, tunataka kusema asante sana kwa hii sherehe imefana sana. E, tukiwa jirani pengine Sicilia acha nipata kuniona. E, Robert tumepatana kwa miaka mingi. Nikiwa naishi hapa akifika pande hii nilikuwa pande hii wakati mmoja alinunua shamba nilikuwa naye tukapatana naye tukafanya transfer nikapatia title deed pengine Cecilia ujui hiyo story lakini ni mimi principal gorir nilipendana sana nipole ni kwa sababu wakati wa siku setu dunia hii a Mungu ndio anajua sisi hatujui na tunasema Mungu achafanya makosa uh, wakati kifika nimefika na hatuna la kufanya na mwaka moja down the line tunataka kusema asante sana familia kwa chumla ya Robert na kina Chichir asante sana kwa sababu umetulia Mungu ametenda mema ametupatia hiyo nafasi ya kuendelea na maisha na tunataka wakati huu kutakia familia ya Robert eh, kila laheri na watoto wake wanapokuwa wakwe ndani ya Yesu Mungu atatenda mema siku moja watakuwa watu wakubwa dunia hii na tutashukuru mwenyezi Mungu Kongo misinga mun eh kwa sina fasha na gane ama boyo na genyo nguli nigit gait ka sarta ne wasiasa go mama ta masiasa saidi emireyu alele ngitjogin wake pta ya chemya che gire moni lewi dito itinye gire tagenge kono to kogesa oge le tayona wake pta ya chemya che ika magi nyisek taman digi gusirta ogi ngen tugu kele oyone minga chere teni ngun kugi gogo ito a had wa kenya tandagi magisir na gwi ga gisir magi ngena ge che lakini had ye nyali peana ni kwamba atatawala miaka kumi, miaka kumi ikiisha nani atashika dukani kialisema na hiyo tuna tuliweka kwa mioyo yetu 
na hiyo tunaomba Mungu aitimise e, mwaka ujao tutakuwa na the fifth president ya Kenya hii daktari Ruto hatuna hatuna kufikiri e, ingine na sisi hapa chini e, hatuna neno tunasema tu Mungu atende mema wale viongozi ambao watachaguliwa ni viongozi wenye wako na maono ya kuona mbele kufanyia watu kasi kusaidia watu ndio hiyo photo map yende itimike kwa sababu viongozi wale hawatakuwa ma, na maono hata wakichaguliwa hii photo map tunasema itakuwa ngumu kwa sababu photo map haisemi kwamba atukae ungoje maneno yanguke inasema photo map ni kuinuliwa kidogo alafu ufanye nini ufanye kasi ndio utoe ushuru Kenya iendelee na tuachane hii maneno ya kuomba kila mahali paka deni saa hizi Kenya hii imekuwa ngumu sana hata kulipa itakuwa shida. Kwa hiyo machache nataka kusema asanteni sana Mungu apariki wakati wageni kutoka sehemu mbalimbali tutakaporudi mrudi na neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu na wakati mwingine tena Mungu akipenda tukutane wakati hiyo pengine Sicilia uh, Sicilia hapo eh, naongea kwa nataka kuambia Sicilia we oh yes oh yes oh yes Ah uh, yes, si mtu aguse hapo anasema mheshimiwa naongea. <laughs> Kwa nataka kusema Sicilia ukifika uh, wakati mwingine mwaka ujao eh, kama wewe nipigaji kura hapa kuna mheshimiwa anaitwa Prince Bolgorir ikinarni yako hapa nyumba yangu ndio hii unaangalia na macho pande hii hapa hivi sasa Mungu akipenda wakati mwingine mkifika tukiwa na makumbusho pengine next dia tutakuwa na mheshimiwa anaitwa Prince Bol Gorir hapa jirani yako. Mungu asante. Mimi nasanteni sana Mungu abariki. Asante sana. Uh, thank you very much principal uh, Gorir. Wacha ni wasi zote tusimame kwa pamoja. Tusomewe second scripture reading tukisimama. Alafu baada ya hapo tutaimba stanza ya kwanza kwa wimbo huo unasema cha kutumaini sina. Tutabaki tu tukisimama hivyo tuimbe wimbo cha kutumaini sina stanza ya kwanza ndio tukaribishe uh, mnenaji atakaye tupatia uh, mahubiri ya siku ya leo Asante Asante ni sana so we are going to continue the second reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 8 and it says there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to uproot a time to kill and a time to heal a time to tear down and a time to build a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to search and a time to give up a time to keep and a time to throw away a time to be silent and a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time for war and a time for peace thank you uh, thank you asante sana tunasimama hivyo tunaimba wimbo cha kutumaini sina stanza ya kwanza alafu mnenaji ataendelea kutoka hapo cha kutumaini sina ila damu ya ke Yesu sina wema wa kutosha dambi zangu kuziosha kwa ke Yesu nasimama ndiye mwambani salama ndiye mwambani salama ndiye mwambani salama niki itwa hukumuni roho nini na amani niki fi kwa haki yake sina hofu mbele zake kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwambani salama ndiye mwambani salama ndiye mwambani salama na tuketi pamoja Mnenaji karibu kuendelea kutoka hapo asante
Asanteni sana wote ambao mmekuja for this uh, memorial service for our brother Robert. You know we are in a very difficult season. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, it was Robert's brother who who mentioned about uh, those people who have not been vaccinated to look for the vaccine because uh, corona is still around. So we are in a very difficult season. And uh, Robert happened to die during, those, uh, during that time whereby we, you know, it was, we are not saying that corona is, uh, it, it, corona is still here with us. So we need to observe the the MOH uh, protocol that has been uh, put. And so it was a very difficult time. The family had no time to uh, to mourn and uh, bury their, their loved one. And so we thank God for this opportunity that the Lord has given us to gather here to as we remember our brother Robert, I just want to thank God for this wonderful day. I'm Pastor Philip Mloma from International Christian Center, ICC, where Robert uh, used to fellowship together with Cecilia, uh, with their children. And I'm here on behalf of our senior pastor, Reverend Julius Wainaina, who is not able to be here. But I'm here on his behalf just to bring the word of God to every person that is here. And uh, because of time, I will be so brief. So just bear with me because I will be. I was given 40 minutes on the program. I can, uh, I can preach even one hour. I can preach 10 minutes. So I'm choosing to to be brief because of time till we are behind the schedule uh, when i when i look at the schedule i think we should be we should be out of this place and uh, i'll be brief i i came with my brother Ernest all the way from Nairobi yeah, he can just wave thank you Ernest and so we are here to I'm here to bring the word of God and I chose to, you know, death, death is something that uh, normally every time I'm speaking in a funeral, any time I'm speaking where someone has died, there is this one question that comes that I ask myself. And as I encourage the family, the both families of uh, Mr. Chirchir and uh, Cecilia and the friends, I believe I, I, it's, it's a good question whereby we all need to ask ourselves. It is a good question that we need to ask ourselves. Today it is Robert. And tomorrow, it might be you. So as you go to a funeral place, as you go, as you mourn with the people that are mourning, as you console with the, the, with, the people are, uh, with the people who are mourning, that is the question that you need to ask yourself. You need to ask yourself that you are not exceptional. You are not, exp uh, you are not exceptional. And where we read, from the word of God, uh, today I just chose to uh, to, get, to give the, no, it's, uh, I, I just decided to give the topic uh, of, uh, of my message today, overcoming the pain of death. Overcoming the pain of death. death. Death is something, death is a cruel and heartless enemy. It's very cruel. When it knocks your door, it is when you realize that death is very cruel. A heartless enemy. 
And all of us deal with death at some point. I said, I said today, today it is Robert. Tomorrow it's you. Because death, at some point, we will all face it. At some point, you will all face it. Where we read in the book of Job, the Bible says that mortals born of a woman are of few days and full of trouble. Our days are few. In other words, our days are numbered. So even as we are here, as we remember the, the things that Robert uh, did when he was alive, it is a good question to ask yourself to understand and know that your days on this earth are very few. You know, when you, when you realize that, when you realize that your days are few, I, I think it's the chief who say that uh, you, need to, you, 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 need to, you need to have a relationship with God. You need to have a relationship with your maker. We, you can only do that. We can only, you, can only, you can only do that if you realize, if you understand that your days on this earth are very few. You know, there are so many people who live on this world thinking that uh, this is their world. They think that this, one, this world belongs to them. This world does not belong to us. That's why Robert today is not here, because this world is not our home. It is not our home. We are not permanent here. Today you are here. Tomorrow you are not there. And that makes me to challenge you, to challenge each and every one, that is us, every, every one of us that is here today, that after knowing that your days are not many, after knowing that your days are full of trouble, after knowing that your days are numbered, after knowing that your days are numbered according to, according to Job chapter 14, verse 5, a person's days are determined, you have decreed the number of his months and have set limits he cannot exceed. There are some limits that you will not exceed. When your time comes, when your time arrives, there, uh, there is uh, one speaker who said, uh, God has a formula. That's why Robert just died in the house alone. Because Go, uh, God has a formula. And, and, and when, your days, when your days come, when your days that are numbered, uh, when, 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 your limits, uh, when your limits come, when, when, when your months have been set, when, uh, when it cannot exceed, you will just leave this world. And so I am here to challenge all of us, even as we remember, even as we mourn our brother, even as we mourn our father, even as we mourn our friend, even as we mourn our, do our son, remember that all the days of a human being are determined by God. You do not determine you do not determine your days to live on this earth. It is not under your control. It is under the control of God the maker of the heavens and the earth. And because you have no control, when your time comes, you will have to leave. But my question my question for you today, when your time comes for you to leave this world, how are you leaving this world? Because it is, it is coming. It is just a matter of time. And when it comes, when it knocks your door, you will have to leave this world. But my challenge and my question for you today, as that time comes, how are you leaving this world? How are you leaving this world? Because our days are determined by God. They are numbered by God. You have no clue. You have no clue how, you, how your tomorrow looks like. You have no clue. Cecilia just told us the way he was uh, talking to, to Robert, his husband. The way they were having uh, video calls with the children. But after a few days, after a few, few hours... He could not reach out to, to Robert because his days had come. His numbers and months had been determined by God. Just to encourage the family, 
Cecilia, together with the children, together with the the, the family of uh, the, because uh, be, be, together with the family of Robert. In this, you are not alone. You are not alone. The Bible says that, uh, the Bible tells us that the pain of death is caused by a world full of sin. But God loves us so much that he created, uh, he created a way to overcome death. It was so, it was so easily, it costed God, his son, and only son, Jesus. The Bible says that he died, and when he died, he rose again. And today we are just here to encourage us that uh, it is important for you to, to prepare yourself so that when you die, you know that you are, you, you, you are dying prepared. No, there are so many people. I just thank God for what I've just heard about Robert. Robert was a devoted Christian. He, he was, in other words, I can say he was prepared. So the only people who are not prepared to die are those people who have no relationship with Jesus Christ. But if you have a relationship with God, your maker, when you die today, you are ready, you are prepared. But if you're not prepared, if you, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, when you die today, we will, we will, we will, we, it will be a very difficult time. It will be a very tough moment because you are, where are you going? As a pastor, I always enjoy when I speak in a funeral of someone who was prepared. I, I, I just enjoy because that person is actually resting. So I enjoy because I know that that person had a relationship with God. Because of time, I'll just want to ask, uh, 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 maybe you can just write uh, this, uh, these scriptures. You'll just read on your own. Revelation chapter 24, verse 4. Then you can also write Psalm 34, verse 18. The Bible says that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in the spirit. And then Psalms 147, verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. And then you can also uh, write Joshua, uh, John chapter 14, verse 1. Then Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and you can also write Matthew chapter 5 and verse 4 and then uh, also write 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 to 14 as I as I come to the end Jesus paid the price of our sin once and for all he broke the curse of death by raising from the death three days after sinful people nailed him to a deadly cross. Because he rose from the death, we have hope of new life now and forever. Nothing will change the fact that people die, but death does not have to overpower us. We can, we can begin to live again because of our relationship with Jesus Christ. It begins with prayer. It begins with prayer. We pray, we ask Jesus to help us. We ask Jesus to come into our life. And when we choose that path of following Jesus, that is the only way we overcome that. Because when you, when, when you sleep, when you, when you die, when you have Christ, you are actually resting. You, have, you, you, you are not dead, but you are actually resting. We also read in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. It talks about a time, there's a time for everything. So there is a time to mourn, there is a, there's a time and a season, and that time is set by God. So friends, I'm here to encourage all of us, even as we remember our brother Robert, we need to ask ourselves, are we ready? When the Lord calls you home today, how are you resting? How are you sleeping?
because that is the most important thing for us to do because our days are determined. Our days are numbered. Your tomorrow is not in your hands. Your tomorrow is in the hands of God. And because your tomorrow is in the hands of God, we better live the way God would want us to live. We are not supposed to live thinking that we are going to live the next hundred years. It is good to think that way. But as you think that way, remember God your maker. Remember your maker. Have a relationship with him because at the end of the day, he's the one who determines the days and the years that you are going to live on this earth. May the Lord God help us and may the Lord God remember us. Uh, Cecilia, on behalf of our senior pastor, Reverend Julius, we are here to just let you know that uh, as a church, we are praying for you and we will, continue, we will continue to pray for you and your children, to pray for your extended family, to pray for your, your, your family members, that the Lord will continue to walk with you the way he has walked with you. And so we thank God that God knows you. He understands you. The Bible says that he is the husband to the widow. He is the father to the orphan. So those children have their father, God in heaven, who is going to take care of them. You have a husband who is God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. So I just want to encourage you that God is with you and is going to walk with you. May the Lord God bless you, even as I, 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 even as I call Pastor Churchill to take, uh, to take over. Uh, before I continue from there, uh, let me just take this opportunity to thank my colleague who has come all the way from Nairobi up to here for the work of God. Thank you for another seven whom you came with him. So my part here is to dedicate a family in prayer and I know I'll do it because God has given me that opportunity. So before I go to that part, let me just uh, welcome all the visitors who have come from far and wide for this special occasion. I'm Reverend Chirchir, the area pastor. I serve in one of the churches from this community. It's called AIC Parution. And this church is also associated with the late Robert. There was one time they came with a family. And uh, we had time with them. Even though they left us because we never kept the time. But still we counted on them as part of our members. And I want to appreciate Cecilia the way she is today. Uh, when that incident happened, uh, it was really unfortunate because the way we handle our brother was not the way it should be. And we apologize for that one because it was not intentional. Uh, I want to say that after about one week when Cecilia wanted to go back for her work, she called me that she needed prayers before she goes back to her duty. And uh, for sure I came, and uh, the way I found Cecilia during that time, she was really very weak. Even though we took time to pray, her strength had not come during that time. So. We left her in prayer and then she went back to her work. So what I want to say is, today I'm happy about Cecilia. The way you stand today. The way you have kept your testimony. For sure you went to your place of work, but one thing, one great thing you did, 
you never left your God. And I'm happy you have come with the servant of God. So I want to encourage you to stand with that same spirit, to be strong in the Lord. And I know you are going to go far. And I have learned so many things about you. You have great love from your family, where you come from. You also have a great love to the family you have come to join. So we want this love to continue. And this love will continue because of you. So otherwise, I want to say I'm grateful to be associated with you. We'll continue to pray for you. Anytime you are around, tell us you are around, we'll come. We don't want to leave you lonely. We want to, be, to feel that you are part of us. So otherwise, the way I'm going to handle these prayers, I want Cecilia to come in front with her children, the immediate family. And then I want some representatives from your family, the Pons family, some few representatives from Jirkin's family, because I know if I tell people to come, all of them here, we may not have enough space. So especially want Cecilia to come, and then some representatives from the family, both families. And then I would like to request the servants of God who are with us, they come and then we dedicate these families together. We have the servants of God who are with us. Pastors who are around from all denominations, you are welcome. So, Karibu Cecilia. And some representatives from both families. Can you come around? We want to pray. We want to bless this family. We want to thank God. God has taken care of them since that time. Even the children have grown healthy and strong because of the Lord. So we want to thank God for that one. So the servants of God want you to come around as we dedicate this family to God. We are grateful. So, taka tushukuru mungu pamoja. So, we have Lady pastors who are with us, I'll give them chance, both of them to pray, and then finally I'll end that part. So I want to thank you, both families, for attending this occasion. This your beloved child, take care of her especially through prayers, be close to her, give her advice, visit her the way we have done today. And I know she will not remain the same. So we need to thank God for that one. So my colleague pastors come in front. So I'll give you a chance to say your names. And then finally we'll end with a word of prayer. Praise the Lord. And yeah, thank the Lord this uh, evening because of being with us. And also say to Cecily, thank you because God has taken great care of you, that you are now strong. And we know that God is going to help you bless your, and your children and also your family. We are also going to pray and we shall never leave you. We shall remember you. You know, it is not easy, but God is there, and he's going to take great care of you. My name is Pastor Jane Ruta from Tarotian Welcome Church. Thank you. Pastor Nath Jesus, Pastor Nath Kura, Nangi Mwanjo Kabunga Munga Inemye, so that you are ready to raise your hand, so that you can be listened to, and you can be listened to, and you can be listened to, so that you can be listened to, and you can be listened to, Kumbut Sisilia, ak family nebut in Karab Chirchi, suka bit kubir rock show. Kau ni tuke, kau cek ni kau ec, abu no ATC, parut cia, bunga ini si. Okay, shut koras and then we'll go to the altar prayer. We give all the glory to Jesus, and the love is love. 
and the love is love. We give all the glory to Jesus, and the love is wonderful. Na Yesu abe we tu kufu, tanga za ubendo, tanga za ubendo. Na Yesu abe we tu kufu, tanga za ubendo wake. Kigo chini lilindo cheso. Age mwa chomye, age mwa chomye, ki goji ni li li ndo che. So, age mwa chomye ni ne o.
ngo amun en kokwet chekakobwa kora Jehova sikobit kiamde tugul sirutik che tililen chekata chebo chekata betut ab ran noton nekimatake kimuchi kinya Jehova koityin biik chechang ang be betut ab ran ko kokeityin amun en inye akesha imyondo nebo corona en kainet ab Jesu kimache komanda Jehova sikeityin enge en betusiek tugul kongo Jehova amun kiimuktewe kongeten yoton akoi nguni newendi iwelisiechin ichek aikonoptoi en kainet nebo Jesu taek tugul kora Jehova chekabun olimbo Nairobi Now the time on Sabi Titore Tichek and Guy Netap Chase. As your mouth go in each hobba go to rolling it all in him yet, no mamine or gay. Araki saw in Jehovah and not in the two time on Gobata Gongui. And Guy Nan out and a chase of Christian Nagitayan. The young? I mean, Papa Catecagina lies of Christo, Nakucha and Beleaco, at Hurriet Yaleo, to Sema Santa Quagilia Shire and by Mendelea, to look at me Mombea, not to me on am Conoyaco, or Messimama by Majanasi. Na shukuru kwa ajili ya kanisa ya Nairobi imara daima international church mbaya umesimama na sisilia tangu alipotuacha mpaka siku ya leo sante hata kwa mchungaji kutoka Nairobi mbaya umemlete mpaka hapa kwa ajili ya kazi yako mpariki kanisa hilo uweze hata kuinua kanisa hilo kwa mambo mengi mema ambayo inatupeleka hata mpaka binguni sante hata kwa kanisa letu la hapa nyumbani mbaya umesimama na sisilia akiwa nyumbani na kushukuru. Sante hata kwa jamii zote mbili ambao wameunganishwa kwa ajili ya hawa watoto. Tumeona baraka zako katika hii jamii hizi zote. Utubariki. Najua hata marafiki ambao wametoka mbali kwa ajili ya shirehi. hii. Hata kuna mtoto ya familia ambaye ametoka ngambo. Kumaanisha ya kwamba we ni Mungu mwema. Tunajua ya kwamba imechukua mkono yako. Tuweza hata kufika mahali ambapo tumefika siku ya leo. Tunapotamatisha hii sherehe Nasema ya kwamba tumekuona, tunakuitaji katika isafari. Simama na sisi liya na watata watoto wake. Najua yako na jukumu ya kujunga na hata kuelimisha watoto. Najua ya kwamba we ni munga ata ambaye utasimamia. We ni munga ambaye utapatia hei maitaji yote ambaye naitajika. Baba tunasema ni asande. Yetu ni kumuambea na mambo yote ni kwako kututendea. Maana we ni mungu yetu. Tunapota matisha. Endelea kusimamba moja nasi. Endelea kutuambea. Hata hawa wageni wanavosafiri kependa kuambea kila moja safari njema waweza hata kufika kwao salama salamini yale yote ambayo sikuweza kuleta katika maombi tunaomba roho yako mtakatifu uweze hata kuombea maana iko na uwezo ya kuomba kwa njia ambayo inafaa na e, tenga jamii hizi katika jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu na sote tuseme amen Mungu awabariki sana kongoi Bas. Uh, familia singe penda muende mukai tafadhali wacha ni waombe tu jambo moja tuende uh, kwa ropa chirchir uh, resting place graveside uh, familia wote wawili wachache waende kule tumalize shughuli yenye iko huko Alafu tukuche tufunge kwa maombi. Familia ni na waomba hivyo. Wale familia mulisimama hapa mbele. Singe penda muketi. Tungeenda tu direct kwa graveside. Familia wote wawili ya chirchir na, na, na jebon. Tuende express kule chini. Bas tuende kule kwaya wakuje waimbe nyimbo mbili. Eh. Kwaya waendele kuimba nyimbo mbili hapa. Tasile wale wanaenda kuweka maua huko na kurudi. Kwaya ya AIC Parution. Familia ebu tuwarakishe tavadali. Familia tuwarakishe kule mchukwe tuta kikatano peke yake hapo chini. Watu wachache waende grave site. Kwaya, kwaya, karibuni. Kwaya, kwaya, tuendele hapa.
Gongoi, Asanje, Asanje, AIC Parution, Teriki, Teriki J, Aimbe Wimbo Moja, Teriki J, Yuko Abi, Teriki, Teriki J, Yes, Teriki, Teriki J, Aimbe Wimbo Moja, I love you to funge kwa maombi, Sasile watu wanapanka laini pale, Utaimba Wimbo Mwingine. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Afchebon Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kafchirchir. Marafiki wote na marafiki wa hii familia Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes, so allow me to read this first really quick. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 8 to 10. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, brothers, about the hardships we suffered in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure, great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired even of life. Indeed, in our hearts, we felt the sentence of death, but, but this happened so that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us on him, and he will deliver us. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us. Praise God. I believe that God is intentional about our lives, God is intentional about everything that happens in our lives. And when I read this part, I was like, no, when, when Cecilia called me and told me that I love this song called Nitende and I want you to come and sing, I was like, okay. So that day I was going through my devotion and I was going through the book of Second Corinthians and I saw this first. And it hit me really deep. And I was like, Father, I've been going through a lot as a person. Why haven't you, why are you showing me only this right now? And when Sales told me that, please confirm if you are coming. And I was praying and I was telling God to help me. I was telling him to give me a, a sign if I should go. And he gave me this word. And I believe that it belongs to you, says. I believe that God is speaking to you today and he's telling you that I don't want you to rely on yourself. I want you to rely on me. I want you to rely on God who raises the dead. I, do, I can be a better father to your children. I can be a better father, uh, husband to you. He wants to lift your pain. He wants to give you freedom. He wants to give you rest. And I pray that even right now as we are going to sing this song in Aitwa Nitende, I pray that you may open up your heart to Jesus. I pray that you may just speak to him. Tell him everything that, that hurts you. Tell him everything that affects you. Speak up to him. You don't need to be a professional to know how to speak to God. You don't need to like know everything. You just need to open up yourself to God. You just need to like, Father, this is how my life is. Father, this is how my heart is. And I'm coming to you the way I am. I need you to give me rest. I need you to give me freedom. And yeah, that's how God is. I pray that you may open up your heart to Jesus and just let him minister to you. Amen. Yes, nitende. <laughs>
Thank you, Teriki J, for that wonderful presentation. Wacha nikaribisha yula anatoa shukurani, ndio tufunge sasa kwa maombi. Vote of thanks. Yule anatoa vote of thanks. Alafu tufunge kwa maombi. Yule anatoa vote of thanks, atoe shukurani. After vote of thanks, Chirchiru tatufungia kwa manene ya lunch na shukurani yote kufunga kipindi chote. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, first, we want to thank God for having uh, gathered us here. Uh, I think the celebration has been successful. Na tunashukuru mungu. Iwe kini kongoi, jo waka muktoa hindi, tamun kago sulta gomnye. Unaboeng, awe kini kongoi. Tayekturu. <laughs> Uh, meeting in big up Kanisa, Chabagoron, 
kiweche kongoi ko mi tugul komye ako konam saet and uh, we feel very encouraged thanks to, to the church for the job you have done uh, we also want to give thanks to all the friends of uh, Cecilia and the late Robert uh, you have come in large numbers and we are very grateful for your attendance and participation may God bless you so much uh, also the community around here we will give thanks because uh, you have come to share with us you know when, when we come together and celebrate like this everyone feels uh, their, 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 their heart is really delighted and uh, we also pray that God may bless you abundantly uh, even in your own individual families we want to thank everybody the list can be long but uh, allow me to say thank you thank you very much asante kongoi missing a uh, closing prayer from reverend chirchir closing prayer okay uh kabla sijaomba nataka kushukuru mungu kwa ajili ya wageni wetu wote tunataka kuwatakia safari njema mnaporudi Eh, Sherehe imefaulu imeenda vizuri tunashukuru Mungu. So tutamatishe kwa maombi alafu baada ya hapo kila mmoja atakuwa huru aondoke vile anavyopenda. Hebu na tuombe pamoja. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunasema ni asante maana umetupangia hii sherehe na tumeona ya kwamba umesimama pamoja nasi sababu sherehe imefaulu imeendelea vizuri. Asante hata kwa wageni ambao wamehudhuria hii sherehe ni wageni wengi kutoka mbali na karibu tunasema ni asante saidi ya hayo na shukuru kwa ajili ya hii familia Cecilia na watoto wake kependa kwa ajili wewe katika mkononi mwako maana yeye ni Mungu ambao unamsimamia kutoka sasa hata tutakapoondoka uwe pamoja na kila mmoja hata wale wageni ambao wanatarajia kuondoka saa hii naombea kila mmoja safari njema kila mmoja afike kwake salama salameni. Tunaomba hata uwepo wa Roho Mtakatifu kuendelea kutuombea maana iko na uwezo na inaomba kwa njia ambayo inafaa. Pamoja na hayo kuna hata chakula ambao imeandaliwa kwa ajili ya ishere. Tunaombea ili hata tunapotumia iwe cha manufaa katika mili yetu. Naomba haya yote na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mwokozi wetu. Asante. So Tunashukuru mpaka hapo tumefika mwisho na tunaenda kupata chakula pale. Na oda kikwetu tunakaribisha wageni kwanza ndio wanatangulia. Eneche kemwagele ina ametai. So gotai jebon family tayek tugul ke machege ya mutya 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 enion. Age ke na mami tuogi so ki na men tayek utagati tayek tugul tufuate mtindo huo. Chirchir family wawe nyuma ya wageni eh 